everybody. Happy Saturday. Oh, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a solid day today. Oh, hi. Um, it's good to see you all. Um, so we have a new playthrough today. Uh, one second. Uh, okay. Yes. I had to do a little bit of um, some adjustments before a stream to be able to, cause this is gonna be, hi, this is gonna be my first stream with the new, with the new monitors plus the PlayStation. So it's, you know, had to do some adjustments and such, but I think we're good to go. Hopefully we're good to go. Um, how's everyone doing? You guys doing all right? I feel like things look a little different today for some reason. Nice toque. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, weirdo. Thanks for the 16 months. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. It's good to have you here. Um, you guys think I'm going to be... Okay, yes. So we're starting a new playthrough, right? It's time. We're going to do the sorting house live because i just want to see what house we get placed in and stuff like i don't know um i don't even remember what my what is it potterboard thing i don't know what i was before so i'm excited to see what what's gonna happen oh which house we got a prediction Ooh! oh you guys are predicting oh okay imagine i get placed in slytherin or something that actually would be hilarious this prediction is what house looney will be not what you like or are yes just psa true i did get a new juicy P gpu <laughs> but we're gonna play it on the ps5 anyways just because i don't know i've been used to i've been getting used to playing on the ps5 so we're gonna do that um, I've never seen a multiple choice prediction before. Yeah, this is new for me too. I've never seen it like this. I'm, it's kind of cool. Why are, why are you guys voting Sly, who is voting Slytherin? Who is this? Who is, who put 250,000 mark <laughs> What? Oh my God. Oh. Uh. I've seen this game is badly optimized for PC right now. Oh, so PS5 is better anyways. Okay, well that's good to know. Hey, Chaos, good to see you. Thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Make sure you rest your legs and your feetsies. You deserve it. Uh, I like the vote of confidence that she is not Gryffindor. I honestly don't really know what each like house represents necessarily. So I'm excited to see what will happen. Um, work, the game works perfect on your PC. You got 33 hours in it now. All right, well, I mean, we'll see what happens. Pimento and Poutine, by the way, thank you so much for the 28 months. Pogwarts Lunacy, it's us. We're doing it. All right. Oh, I hope everyone's had a solid day today, though. I had a okay day dealing with some crampy cramps, but that's all right. We're still here. Don't even get to try off the 3080. I know, it's okay, though, because we've been trying it out on Overwatch, and it's been freaking amazing. Um, I think I need to adjust some settings for the next Overwatch stream. I think we already changed it down from Ultra and hopefully that'll help, but um, that's okay. We'll see. Um, Hufflepuff are the artsy hippies, are they? We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm really excited. Um, I've had zero problems on PC, but PS5 looks gorgeous. Sounds good to me. Uh, I didn't get, or I, if I were to get like a 40 series for a graphics card, it wouldn't even fit in my case that I have right now. So, hi, Erico. Good to see ya. You're a Ravenclaw? Tested twice yesterday, although quizzes online, I feel it. Creativity and wisdom, that's you. Is that what Ravenclaw is? Creativity and wisdom? Ooh, I'm on that 1070, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I've, I'm too excited to want to like hold off. So I think we should just jump right into it. Um, so... Hopefully everything will be okay because I, like I said, I'm using a different, so I have like an HDS Elgato capture card, but I'm using my S plus one that I got from my Mac when I went to Canada. So hopefully everything will work out just fine. 
Um, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to play this thing, you know, I want to see where we get placed and everything. I'm excited. Um, I have a 2070 and has stuttering FPS drops at certain times. Really interesting. Um, that's surprising, I guess. But hey, I don't know. Uh, I, I mostly want to make sure everything runs smoothly and stuff, so. Um, okay. Switching to console. Volume is here. Hey, Catherine! Good to see you! Music is here. We're looking good. Okay. We won't be doing Pokemon cards today, if that's okay, chat. We're gonna be focusing on the game. I know, where's the one hour chat before gaming? <laughs> Usually, but like, we're starting something new today. Hope you have a good stream, Looney. Probably not gonna watch for too long because spoils. Have a good night, everyone. No worries, Pokeball. I totally understand, 100%. Always never want people to get spoiled for anything, so. We also have, um, follower-only mode on, just to avoid spoilers, because you know how that has been. So, just PSA. We're trying to have a nice experience here, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm hyped to start this. Dude, I'm- me too. It do be like that. Alright. I'm also excited for the character creation. I know! She's gonna spend three hours in character creation! Oh, man. So, I actually changed my capture card so that I could have this in 4K for me. Like, I actually have my nice monitor being able to be used because if I didn't ha if I was using my previous capture card it would have just been 1080 so this is exciting off. press l2 button to toggle okay, okay um is that always like that enable menu reader okay we don't need that right um camera shake menu reader off Yes, that's normal. Okay, kind of scared me a little bit. Camera dead zone. I don't know what that means. Oh boy. Toggle spell cast mode. Hmm. Maybe we should just do everything default. Game, do not talk to me. Let's do everything default. Unless you guys have suggestions on what to do. First, these settings, I know my I'm kind of covering a lot of these settings, but if you guys have any suggestions on what this should be or not, I don't know if it makes a difference. Like, honestly. So, my suggestion, send it. Alright, let's send it. Um, continue then. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, fidelity, high fidelity, rendering mode, favoring resolution and graphical quality, performance, a high frame rate mode, favoring performance, rendering mode, uh, high frame rate mode, favoring maximum performance, only available on supported output devices. Uh, what should I be using here? HFR? I don't, fidelity is a much? A high fidelity rendering mode, favoring resolution and graphical quality. What about my- what happens to my frame rate, then? I don't know anything about this. Cause I am... Tech... Illiterate. Max performance? You're a wizard, Looney! It is I! Yeah, I mean, we're using the PS5. Fidelity is probably 30 FPS, performance usually 60. Let me Google, okay. I don't know big words, me neither. <laughs> if you want 4K, you may have to play at 30 FPS. Really? Performance? So not HFR performance? HFR? Uh... Do I have an added M2 drive? I don't think so. I don't know anything about this stuff. Maybe HFR is 144 FPS. I wish it told me, cause like this just means like I'm seeing a lot of the same words, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> you know, like ultra high frame rate mode, but then there's high frame rate, but then there's ultra high. HFR probably 120. Do I have a flux capacitor 3.4 gigawatts? 
HFR for PS5 would be the 120 hertz, I believe, but only if your TV monitor supports it, which it does. We have the 280 hertz, girl. Performance is what I want. Okay. Let's just do performance and pray for the best. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty locked to 60. Okay. Hi, Miss Cookie Crisps. Good to see you. I don't think the 120 works with your Elgato though. Oh, okay. True. Okay. We could do performance then. Hi, Raw Toast. How are you? Abracadabra. Okay. Got it. Got it. Let's do this then. <sighs> Signing my life away. Except... Okay, uh, we can skip sign in, right? We don't want to sign in. We're just starting a whole new thing. We're just starting fresh, you know, fresh. The stream is at 60 FPS, so we can't see anything more than that anyways. That is true. Okay, skip that. Okay, uh, adjust the slider until the image is barely visible. I mean, uh... I feel like sometimes it's nicer for stream just to have like a little bit of like a, a brighter experience just like a little so you guys can see because sometimes when I see some streams they they just feel a little dark how does this look does this look okay I feel like this looks okay how's this sound we can't see anything <laughs> oh boy okay um Lighter? A little bit lighter. How's that? This game seems washed out by default, so pro probably no need for upping brightness. Okay, I'll do a little lower then. Just like here. Like here. Is the image a black square? You guys can't see it? Are you guys trolling me? <laughs> Are you guys trolling me? It's a black square for me. You guys don't see the H, the Harry Potter sy symbol? You can't? Really? We can see it? My eyes are bad. Turn that shit. <laughs> oh my god. I can see it a little bit, Eagle. Right? I have to squint. We literally see a black square. What the freak? Okay, I'm gonna put it to here. Is this okay? <laughs> yeah, I can I can see it clearly, but I have to get closer to my Is this good? Oh, I can see it now? There, keep it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. No worries. I see it now. I can see it a bit now. Now I see it. Okay. This is a great group effort. Okay. Accept. All right. If we need to adjust it, we can we can adjust it. All right, here we are. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Terms begin on, Sept on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the, U the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Mm. I know we're in the fifth year already. Shoot, okay. Start. <gasps> All right. See you guys in three hours for the start of the game. Okay, because character creation about to take me 5,000 years. All right Let's see face wear dude. Look at how beautiful Look at how stunning Okay, first of all, how do I pick Goral face How do I f hmm I would like to be a lady, please. Where is... Are they... Is it like unisex type of... Let's see. 
maybe it's just oh yeah maybe it is just like a thing okay well let's let's see uh try going down first i don't know how to i don't know if i can can i go down further unless you're talking about down as in like because these are all hairstyles pick the closest preset oh okay um hmm pick the closest preset Hmm, what would be the closest preset for me? Maybe her? Yeah, oh, this is what you meant by da okay, sorry. Let's let's try. Let's try starting with her. I feel like this is it. Okay. Let's see. Cuz if so if we change our face, mm hmm. Hmm. Face shape. My face is kind of like a little ovally. Right? <gasps> like this! Right? This one! Uh, skin color. Mm. My lighting is more yellowish, but I feel like I'm just looking. Oh, that's more pink. I have like an olivey. Why is this skin color so different? It's like so drastically different. Interesting. Hmm. Is she literally wearing the same hair? I know, right? Like we kinda got some similarities going on right now. Mm, I think I'm a little, maybe like this one. She just like you for real. <laughs> maybe this one. Okay, hair. Let's see. So this is the hair right now. Can I zoom out? Uh, I don't know if I can. Can I zoom out? I feel like I should be able to zoom out. No? Tweak her eyebrows to match better? Here. Should we... Oh, we, we could do the mold too. Yeah, the eyebrows, we definitely need to change the eyebrows for surezies. Like, should I just, I don't know what kind of hair we should have. She doesn't have makeup on though, so I don't know if you can get it too close. True. You know what, I feel like this hair is actually like, pretty solid. Like literally, if she had a beanie on right now, we'd be matching. We'd be matchy-matchy. Okay, but like, let's just look at the other hairstyles just to see. Oh, this hair's cute. Chat, what if I cut my hair that short, hmm? Oh, this is like Elden Ring hair. This is the Elden Ring hairstyle right here. This nose is off too, that is true. My nose isn't quite like that. A little bun moment. Go for it, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Dude, the way that they got their hair down, though. The hair, like, I feel like this looks really nice. Like, everything about this uh, character creation so far looks really good. Okay, let's just go with this. Let's go with this. Hair color, you know, our hair is black, but I'm just looking just for funsies. This feels like Elden Ring. Like, this feels very similar. Um, now we can see what Looney looks like bald. Do you guys want to see what I look like bald? Except not really. <laughs> not quite. Uh, okay. Complexion. Hmm. We want that clear skin. Wow, this is so detailed though. My skin isn't perfect. This is 
I feel like my skin kind of like this some days. Hmm. This is like a bit more like the nose has a little bit of redness. Oh. I went all the way. I think, I think we could just do this. Girl, you're still hot bald, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's see. So I have this right here. Let's see if they got something close. Oh! Huh? I have like, like beauty marks all over my face. I feel like this is pretty spot on almost. I know, right? That's like dead on. Oh, these freckles are so cute. Really cute. Okay. So like this one for sure Z's. When did they put Looney in the game? Okay, wait, we have to adjust like if we could change the nose. I don't know if we can change the nose, but the eyebrows, okay. My eyebrows. Let's let's see. No. 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 Mm. I feel like which one would it be? Oh my god, you can unibrow. Let's go. Schematic Pluto, thanks for the seven months! <laughs> hey. Okay, my eyebrows. That's like if my eyebrows were like this, but that looks like not my eyebrows. I feel like my eyebrows might be kind of like this a little bit. Hmm. Or this. This one? What do you guys think? If it was this, but a little darker, but... Eye color... My eye, co my eye color is just black, dude. It's boring. And then eyebrow color is just black, too. Because I am just boring. Okay. They are the eyebrows you make when you are disappointed that you can't find your eyebrows. <laughs> I know the eye eyebrows aren't quite... Like, if they were darker, they'd be more like it. Can I not change the nose? Hmm, I guess you can't change the nose. Or the eye shape. Am I missing some extra details? Oh, we rebrand as classic. Oh, okay, I like that. Is that like a compliment, Mugen? That that seems like rare, but really nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, just face presets. Oh, okay. Well, she's not quite like us, but like close. Like I think if we had like the eye shape a little different. And then the nose a little different, and then the eyebrows darker, then we would be there. Cause like my nose is like more like kind of like this and then rounded off more. Is there no preset closer? Um I feel like she was might have been the closest preset to EBH. Is it gonna reset if I click off of her though? I feel like it might. It's Lunity at home, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Just the face preset? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like she might be the closest that I'm seeing. Like this one, not quite. Like, I'm just mostly looking at, like, the eye shape. I feel like this might be the closest. Second tab? Second tab? This one? Or what do you guys mean by second tab? This one? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What? 
do face presets, not the full presets. Wait. R1, okay. Oh, this! Oh. Oh! Well, that seems... <laughs> okay! Ah! Cute nose. Not me, though. Oh, cute. No. No. I was just going based off of the face shape, because I thought we could, you know, adjust everything else. So this is the one that we had before. I think... It's not the same face, because, like, hers is a bit more, like round this has more of my face shape but this has m more my eye and nose what do we go for yeah kind of weird that they don't split up the options hey i think the nose is more important so should we go for this the face shape is better eye nose winner I feel like this one feels more me. I and nose, I am Okay. The chin needs to be lowered. I know, but we can't mix both. There's no slider. All right, well, let's just go for this one. Uh, I, um, I'm trying to create me okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, crap. Thank God it's saved. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to press the back button. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It saved. It, it, it saved everything, right? Everything looks good still? Okay. <sighs> okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. <laughs> Imagine 30 minutes of work gone like that. Okay. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Dude, the mouth movements are weirding me out. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be It was wonderful. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. What does my voice sound like? Maybe more like... I don't know. In the wonderful. middle? I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I don't know. <laughs> Select your difficulty? Hard? How hard is this game? First name? Oh, I have to have first and last names? Oh, chat, I need help. Chat, what do I make my first and last name? You must name your character to proceed. Anything but the middle sounds artificial because of the pitch adjusting. I know, right? Yeah, I could hear that. Luna, Luna T. Okay, Luna, Looney T. Looney. Done. Last name. T. <laughs> Loon Itty. <laughs> My rumors! Stop! Uh, ooh, witch or wizard? I... Actually, I don't know. Does- is it, like, really, like, a, a thing, like, the girls are witches? But can, like, a girl be a girl wizard? Because I wanna- I don't know. I, I feel like I identify more with a wizard than I do a witch, personally. But I don't know. Does that make a difference, chat? Looney T! <laughs> It's just which dorm room you are. It'll put you in the boy dorm. Okay, then we'll do the witch then. Um, <laughs> it makes a huge difference. Okay. Um, Lunity, last name. Okay. Yeah, do you guys think the hard difficulty is gonna be really hard? But we're gamers, right? Chat, right? 
So we got, we can do this. Do hard? Yeah. Probably not. Nah, you're a pro gamer. It's a baby game. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Okay. I'm on hard and it's not that bad. Okay. Is there a reason why you are playing this on the PS5 instead of the PC? Um, I don't know. I, I just got used to playing games on the PS5, so I just feel like it, it just felt like that felt like the right thing to do. I don't know. <laughs> Chaos Saints for the 195 bitty bits. I'm gonna go to, I am going to bed in a few here. I gotta work in at noon tomorrow. You have fun and hope you get the house you want. Honestly, I don't mind whichever house we get. I just wanna go based off of what the game puts us, you know, in. Yeah, I like collecting physical media personally, cause I'm freaking a boomer or whatever. All right, chat, here we go. I think we're good. And yes, it's Sage, yes sir! Thank you so much for the 10 months, I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I've heard some people, it's more stable on the PS5, some people have mentioned that it's good, like, on their PC for them, so... We'll see. I guess we'll, we'll see a difference for those who are playing on the PC compared to what the PS5 could look like. Also, before I start, is my camera placement and stuff okay? <gasps> Sash, thank you so much for the five gifted, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you're doing well, Sash. It's good to see you. Hello, Snake. Um, are we not doing Potter more house tests? I don't know. We're going to find out together, Isu. We're going to see what's going on. Um... <laughs> Uh, like someone just said, PC probably less stable. So yeah, you know. Will you, will we're still using the 3080, don't you worry. Your camera will probably cover dialogue options that will appear on the left, so move it a bit IMO. Okay, should we move it upwards? Top left, like absolute top left. Whoop. And then what about chat? Oh god, I'm moving something and I don't know what it is. Um. Oh god, I'm moving the game now. <laughs> What is this? Oh, we can remove this. One, one moment, please. One moment, please, while the streamer has um, a crisis. Okay. Uh, remove these. All right, text. You will get dialogue right away. Most of the HUD elements. Can I put this like here and we're okay? Is this a safe place to put chat? We still don't have mod check? We should have mod check. You're, you're typing mod check wrong. Wait, no, you're not. I think it got removed or something for some reason. Professional streamer, by the way. <laughs> not sure how the most prediction money got put on Slytherin. <laughs> I don't know. Yo, Mo, thank you so much for the nine months, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And also, Chaos, thank you for the gifted sub to Saucy Berry. I appreciate that a lot. Um, okay, so this is good? Okay, hopefully. Hi, Shazaid. Okay, we're, we're starting, we're doing it. Yeah, this is good? Okay, it's beginning, officially. That didn't take three hours, I'm actually impressed. 39 minutes, chat, not bad. Chat will probably overlap dialogue, but it should be fine. I could put chat like over somewhere else if it's really, you know, like I could put it here, but I just, we could figure it out. I can also make chat smaller if need be. Could do that, but we'll see. Good luck, this game is addictive. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, you're ready, Looney, Looney, T, plus, let's go. Good night, Chaos. Okay. Here it goes. We're beginning. It's happening. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh. Yes. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Cute. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a secondhand wand. You'll be second hand with when you get your own. Ooh. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time began. Hello? Oh, <laughs> Eliazar! George! Eliazar! The cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. 
Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. Don't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> 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 uh, best not speak here, Eliasar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. Let me know if that's better. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. <gasps> Jake, thank you so much. Oh, we're going. Is this better for the sound? Let me know, chat. I can always adjust. Do maybe this? Who is that? Uh, what the heck was that? That looked kind of scary. Oh my gosh. I can still hear you a little lower, please. <laughs> it's here! It's happening. Wow, I can touch that. It looks so good on my screen. Oh my god. Wow. No, we haven't done the sorting. We haven't done it. We're doing live. Jake, thank you so much for the 76 months, by the way. I really appreciate it, dude. Oof. How those books not get lost, honestly. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? You don't know student. me? <laughs> new. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. So how am I well, a fifth year? you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, just like an age thing? he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Hmm. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Transfer student. Okay. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. <laughs> before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. I sent it, it to him! to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh, there's a glow, all right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Beard. How did you wait? Mm -hmm. We do. Um, is that guy just dead? Oh, this is not okay right now. What is happening? Oh, my God. He is not okay. <gasps> Get the thing! Get it! No! Use some wizard powers or something, come on, people! Oh! 
cute. Are you right? Lunati pained cry. <laughs> uh oh. Perhaps a bit. Maybe just a little bit. Take this. It's Wigan Well Potion. It's Baja Blast. Let's go. Second. Okay. Heal. Got it. <gasps> Thank you so much, D Ride. Appreciate it. I'll catch all the notifications after this. Once things settle down. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? That so... was no typical dragon, was it? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Okay. I'm Dang. Doing better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Mm-hmm. Hold on, before we continue. Wait. D-Ride, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Uh, signing off for the night, but gonna keep the stream running to support. Good luck with your house placement. Thank you so much. I'm excited to see what we get. And Jay Cool Dude with a 76 months just ordered my new 3070 Ti so I can begin playing Hogwarts Legacy tomorrow. Damn, let's go. Hope all is well and hope you enjoy the game. Me too. I hope you enjoy the game as well with your 3070 Ti. Sheesh. And T-Mac with the 81 total months. The streak will not stop. Also, tonight's UFC title card was insane. I don't watch UFC, but hey, if you enjoyed it, then I am so glad. Dude, what a start. Oh my gosh. What a freaking start. I like the drip. I want this coat. All right. Oof. He's bright. He's real bright. Where are we? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those runes. Do you think. The walkie was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. I sent it and for I a reason. That she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's Why see you if we can it? find a path, however faded it may be. I sent it to myself. It's I always get so weirded out when I hear my name in my games because scared. I'm just like this is not my name. My name is not a popular name, you know? Mind you, it's not spelt the same ever. But... The key that brought us here. A good question. Okay. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Is it still ancient quiet? Magic. Okay, we can up yes. it a bit more. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Or how about if I put it to have been lost to time. Here. Is this better? Can you fall off the cliff? I don't know. Yeah, let me know if the volume needs to be up a little bit more. Good. I turn it up another dB. Hopefully it's it's all right. That's not the name in other streams. Did you put your name in anywhere? Hogwarts Castle was built no. by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. What about now? I turn it up another DB. Okay. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Okay. Is that ice? It doesn't look like here. it. 
It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's mm. see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus mm. on okay. the center. Okay. Basic cast time. Tap R2 to perform a basic cast. Oh. Okay. That was easy. Excellent. Fantastic. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick. Da -da -da -da. Got it. Oh, okay. I'm a wizard. Oh. Okay. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. <laughs> this poor guy. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Your wand works improving with every cast. Ho ho. Thank you, sir. Let's go. You can also turn it down. Wait, what? Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, streams loud as fuck, is it? She was louder than the game by a lot. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I just want to make sure the sounds are okay, because <clears throat> I want to make sure that I'm not too loud over the I'm game. There. I want it to be like a decently like good mix. Okay. What about over here though? Does this stuff give me loot? What about collectibles? I need a, I, I need collectible items. Oh, he is trying to freaking miss out on some coin. Hello, Mr. Professor, whose wife's name is my name, but not quite the same. Volume is good. Okay. We're close now. It's just ahead. Okay. Have to get the 100%. You know. <laughs> all right. All right. <clears throat> I have, AK. Uh, I actually Steady haven't read yourself. all or seen all the movies, so Repair. it was like the last ones I missed out on. Whoa! Damn, he's good. He's good. That was nice. The books I read the first and the Almost second. There. And like, uh, I had them when I was, you know, a kid, but I, I don't think I read them all. <clears throat> but I remember watching like the first movie and like the second movie and how like crazy and amazing it was at the time. They valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Out of place, hey? Something out of place. Oh, minimap shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press and hold to toggle quest objective. Details. Explore the ruins. Professor Fig and I have traveled via port key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the port key was meant to lead us to. This. Investigate. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Okay. This may have been his home. Where's my statue in my home? <laughs> Chat, do you guys have a statue of yourself in your home? If not, why not? Hmm? What's wrong with you? Privacy, I know. I, have to, I feel like I'm gonna have to break every single pot that I see highlighted, Chat. This is gonna be a problem. I have 15. <laughs> no, I'm not a narcissist. Professor. <laughs> Some Ooh, that's expensive. Mm. True. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Mm. Interesting. Yes. Can we open this? I feel like we could get through this. I'm thinking we get through this. Maybe not. I believe in you. Can I climb? Hmm. Oh wait, I see a pathway on the map. Oh, oh, oh. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> something good's gonna come out of one of these, I swear. Something. Something. I'm sure of it. That enchanted crystallized stone again. 
But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fink! <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? The breathing what sounds room? scaring me. I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. Interact with magic? How do I interact with it? Oh. Have to get closer. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. We went on the other side? I'm hearing some snarly sounds. Something snoring. Oh. Oh, hello? Hello? Oh my god. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hi there. Sorry to wake you from your little nappy nap. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> He's got some long nails. <laughs> oh, look at him! <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Okay. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. Sure, yeah, yeah. The key. Number 12. Mm -hmm. Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Okay. He's just a little guy. <laughs> Stay close. Whoa. That's sick. After you. Okay. I know, right? Your hands inside the cards <laughs> if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Can I hang on to something? This looks like I'm scared. I've fallen off. Oh. Whee! Oh, we're going for a ride, chat. Oh my gosh. Hands up. Way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Am I like balling or what's happening? You want to take a breath. A what? A breath? <gasps> that waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Dude, this Vault is number 12 was crazy. commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. <laughs> Dude, this is wild. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. <laughs> okay. What are we thinking here? What's happening? Oh, is he following us? Oh. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. 
I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Thanks, Tuna. Monka W. Ooh, is this Vault 12? Here we are. Looks fancy. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Okay. Today's a big day. Damn. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What are, what are we here in f for Vault 12? What What's the meaning of this? What are we gonna find? Why are we here for Vault 12? What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might- The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. Great! Professor? That was certainly unexpected. <laughs> was it Let though? Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A revealing charm. No time like the present. Right, Let's right. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Okay. Ready your wand <gasps> and focus. Oh! Why is this red? Okay, <laughs> did I do it okay? <laughs> Cast Rebellio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay, first try. <laughs> How much closer? Oh, a door. Well, that's a start. There's that Same symbol, symbol again. yep. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Secrets! But why me? Why can I see this and they can't? Oh god. Lumos! I need to learn how to do that ASAP. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our oh way my out god. here. What do you mean this looks like we're... Way? Do you think this is some sort of test? Kimpachi. I do. But to what end, I can't say. I just Stay think close. of Kimpachi right now. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Okay. Anybody else thinking the same? Kimpachi. What am I saying? Kimpachi? Bleach. Yo, Raoul, thank you for the beautiful I year, man. Ahead. Thank what you so it? much. That glow again, but on the floor. I'll, I'll fully thank you in a moment here. This is spooky, dude. Oh, God. Why'd I step in it? Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. I think I need to reveal you something here, though. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? <laughs> this I guy don't see nothing. Statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hi. Revelia. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Yes, it is. Sir, but it's the other there, way. But the statue's positions don't match. Oh, wait. It's following him. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, yes, please. Teach me how. Oh, God. Nice. Tarnished one. 
You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in the dark areas. God bless. Okay. Ooh. Told R2. Tap triangle. Lumos. Well done. Got it. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. We don't know yet, Twizzler. Uh oh, Protego! Protego! Oh my gosh. He's kind of. I'm gonna freaking tap. Oh, I can jump? Oh god. Guys, I was playing God of War yesterday, so I have God of War freaking. What's it called? I'm just gonna spam my R2. Can I roll? Oh, I can roll. I can roll! Okay? Am I dead? Oh god. Oh gosh. I'm afraid! Can I parry? <laughs> Can I parry with a wand? Protego? Wait, Protego! Incoming enemy attacks, idiot! Oh my god. Okay. I didn't real. I didn't read the thing. Sorry, I was just focused on freaking killing these things. <laughs> My bad. I would. I would have been here all day. I would have been here all day. It's literally telling me what to do. I know, eh? Okay. Oh, I'm bad at this game. Defendo. Spelliamus. Levius, so when Guardian Levius, ha, did we do it? Stay close. Okay. <laughs> you hold Y down through their attack. You counter them. Professor, Professor Fig. Oh God. Professor, where oh God. are you? I need a. I need this a. This isn't good. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> what are you? What's <laughs> happening? Give me the this. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Hello. Any other chests anywhere? <laughs> I'm down. Hello. Alright. Oh. We got something. Wait, hold oh, on. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Just want to check to see if there's any more chests around, you know? Okay. Investigate. These guardian. Oh. Protego. Oops. Oops. I am trying to remember what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I have to do this Avelia. first. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh wait, hold up. Lumos. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, sixty-nine coins. Let's go. Yo, Burio, thank you so much for the 17 months. I'll properly thank you all once we're out of this they area. Need to align these statues with their reflections. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. All right. Oh, beach. That was fast. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. I could just do that right before. Oh! Get effed. 
Tap R2 to destroy the- okay, yeah, we did that already. Hold triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Oh, so if I hold it, stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Oh, got it, got it. Stupefy, hold, okay, gotta hold. Oh, I can, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh gosh, okay, hold on. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, I jumped into that one because I'm stupid. Okay, hold on. I want a better... Alright. I want to talk about it. Oh, why did I have to stupefy that guy? Oh my god, Looney, please. Okay. Okay, are we good? Stupid fat. Oh, there's another guy on my left, right? Okay. Oopsies. I can't see everybody. Okay. Alright, okay. We're doing it. I probably should be attacking the people that are stunned, yes? Wait, am I dead? I'm not dead yet. Maybe it's plot armor? <laughs> I don't know. It might be. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be dead. Whoopsies. Okay, are we okay though? I don't know. Uh, right, hold this first and then this. All right, pretty sure I should be dead right about now, but we won't talk about that, okay? <laughs> we won't talk about that. Oh, L3 to sprint, got it, got it. Okay, we're getting it, we're, we're understanding. <laughs> I feel like the way I'm running looks so funny to me. Okay, investigate. Yeah, we haven't done our, uh, we haven't done our house yet. House sort, sorting, sorting hat. All right, before I continue, first of all, Raul, thank you so much for the 12 months. Happy 12 months, Looney. Somehow this is the longest time I've been subbed to any streamer. Long live Slytherin. I'm excited to see what the game gives me. Thank you so much, Raul. I appreciate the 12 months. And Twizzler with the tier 3, 30 months. So like, you have probably answered this a million times. What house? So yeah, we're gonna get to that. I don't know when it happens, but we're gonna be doing it on stream together. So we'll figure it out when it happens. And Boria with the 17 months, I don't think I will play it, but I have to admit this game seems much better than I expected it would be. Yeah, it's freaking, it's sick so far, dude. The, the gameplay, this is the first, like, you know, the first few moments of us experiencing the combat and stuff. So pretty sick so far. Okay, fine, Professor Fig. What's this? What are you? Oh, how convenient. <laughs> there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for pensive. viewing memories. Oh, can we see Miriam's memories? I wonder. Oh, what are you doing, sir? Follow my lead. Okay, we're just going in. Whoa. Guess we're looking at his memories. Him building this place per or oh, wizards building this place. Perhaps. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created 
may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. Great. We've done all that we can. Responsibility. I'm just trying to go to school. <laughs> So we are able that's to see ancient magic. Seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Whoa. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Oh, I'm scared. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Yeah, we did. Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. You Sir, did great! I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Oh no. He was just doing his job, oh, man. Patience for traitors. What? Now. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. I liked him. Mm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Whoa. What is going on? What is that? Oh, shit. Hey, <laughs> y'all. Oh. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh! Dude, get out of there! Why are you sticking around? Where are we now? Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Okay. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yes. Yes, we do. But where are we? <laughs> Train? How are we gonna get on that train? Dang. Nice. Look at that shot! Oh, 
for the thumbnail! <laughs> nice. That's a thumbnail! <laughs> the train is for peasants? Oh. Got it. So we don't take the train anymore. Because we're... Whatever. What a start! I, that was not what I was expecting this game to start with oh, at good. all. I didn't know what we to start with, the but... Sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Hey. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Sure thing. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yay! Oh boy. I'm excited. What's going to happen? What's up, Znook? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Hello. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem Enough. Has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Yes, please. Come on, man. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Okay. Sorry. Oh, boy. Where will we place, chat? I'm nervous. This person shows Professor us what Weasley. time period this game is set. One more to be sorted. Mm. Welcome. You're Let's just see. in time. Have a seat. I'm not sure if that mi helps me, no. Hundred and fifty years before Harry? Oh, okay. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Um. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, what would Looney want? Probably classes. If if I if I cared about the classes, I'd probably want to do the classes. Personally. Yo, Blake, thanks for the two years, man. Yeah, if it's like 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 an art class, maybe, or like classes I care about, you know. What like what is exploring exactly? You know? You assume too much? They classes, bruh. Yeah, but I can be a wizard, and I can learn to be strong. Hmm. I know, I have to think for myself. I have to think for myself. Chat will choose what you want. I'm gonna do classes. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts I can't let, ho like, chat influence my decisions. Dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Yes. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Je ne sais quoi. Mm. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Mm. Curiosity, perhaps. Mm. 
I, I think I'd say curiosity, personally. Looney curious AF, she she do be curious. I don't know what these answers like go to though. Like necessarily. Like I think loyalty would be a Hufflepuff thing, but I feel like curiosity is would be what I would choose. It's hunger, she he says it. <laughs> Let's be honest. You don't want to know? Uh, curious. Desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle. See? And I believe I have a ready mind. Mm. You're clever. I do enjoy indeed. a good a puzzle. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Is that what it's going to set me? Oh! Wow, so you only have two choices? Or there's only two things? It's a one question test. That's all it was? That's kind of random. I was hoping it was gonna be more, that last question is the only one. That, it, I know, I wish there was like a, like, you know, like a personality test or something. Oh, I wanted to suggest a better one. What do you mean suggest a better one? You could take the Pottermore test instead. Oh. I mean, I'm okay with this. I'm happy to be a Ravenclaw. Go to Pottermore to do a real test? Pottermore. We can just for fun to see. Pottermore doesn't exist anymore? Does it not? Yeah, I'm cool with Ravenclaw personally. I was gonna, like whatever it gave me, I was okay. You're still a Ravenclaw, I thought. I liked the idea of being a Ravenclaw, but I don't know if I'm smart enough to be a Ravenclaw. <laughs> but my channel points are on Hufflepuff! <laughs> okay. Oh, Wizarding Worlds. Okay, let me see. I mean, we could take this just for out of curiosity. Um, quizzes and puzzles? Hogwarts sorting. Oh, I need to sign up. I, I've, I might have done this before, so let me sign up on a new thing, maybe. 0516. Da 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 da. It's not hard to sign up. Let's do a quick one. Um, gosh. Okay. Uh, Just look at the Ravenclaw description, witty and creative. That is a thousand percent you, right? The intelligence, I, I like to think, you know, I'm just not math smart, okay? I can be smart about other things. Do I have, I'm gonna put Looney, Looney and then T again for my first and last name. Cause I'm not trying to put, you know, my info info. Okay. Uh, here. She's a Ravenclaw for sure. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put a quick pause on the game just because that sorting hat was a little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. So we can check, you know, whatever else, just in case, right? Take an online quiz or something? Right here, oh. Well, the Hogwartsy music is not here with us right now. Okay. Let's see. So, get sorted now, right? I'm assuming this is it. Let's give it a try. Here, we'll, we'll we can add this again later. Okay. Let's see. River or forest? Choose one. Hmm. Hmm, I'm gonna think real hard on this stuff, too. I'm gonna think real hard about this. Let's see. I'm gonna pick... River. 
A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls club if you could? Okay, what? A nearly perfected cure for dragon pox? Okay, well, how bad is dragon pox? I don't know. A nearly perf- well, I need to know what the other options are. In which order would you rescue these objects? Can I see what the other objects are? I don't know. Nearly perfect- <laughs> Sorry. Uh... <laughs> Everyone in chat's like, what?! I'm like, okay, what is this stupid thing? Stupid thing. Uh, how am I supposed to know what to choose? Okay, I guess I'll just... Because I, I don't know what's at number one or what could be number one. A student... Student records going back a thousand years. That's a pretty big deal. A mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Eh, whatever. Oh, I could reorder the items. Okay. I think the student records is... Actually... Maybe the cure for dragon pox. That might be worse than we th I think it is. I don't know what dragon pox is, but if it's like a serious thing... Then we could do that, and then the records, and then a mysterious, yeah, yeah, mysterious thing of runes. Okay. Okay. Look into your heart and randomly pick one. <laughs> okay, confirming order. Which road tempts you most? The twisting leaf-strewn path through the woods? The wide, sunny, grassy lane? The narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley? No, that's not safe. The cobbled street lined with ancient buildings. Ooh, I like that. That sounds nice. Select. You enter an enchanted garden. What would you be most curious to examine first? The fat red toadstools that appear to be talking to each other. The bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling. The silver leafed tree bearing golden apples or the statue of, of an old wizard with a strangely twinkling eye. Apples. This sounds legit. This sounds sick. If you are attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Cats, toads, or owls? Hmm, not toads. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm, owl seems like cool. And cats is just like, obviously, like, who doesn't want a cat to follow you? I think the cat would give a bit more... Oh, I'm gonna go cat. Because cats can give a little bit of affection. That's cute. I like cute cats. Like, oh, if you were attending Hogwarts with pet, oh, I can pick ginger cat, white cat, Siamese cat, this Mary, tabby cat, black cat. It'd be between white and black IMO. White cat fur gets all over your black clothes though, and I wear a lot of black clothes, so maybe I should just get a black cat. So it blends it, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. But I think white cats are so elegant looking. Orange cats are really cute too though. Tabby, sorry. You look a little scuffy. Mm. This one's like cute. I feel like this is like playful, but this is like elegant. I'm gonna go white cat. White cat speaks to me more. Okay. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? All about magical creatures and how to befriend slash care for them. Flying on a broomstick. A apparition and disapparition. Being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. So like, teleportation almost, sort of. Secrets about the castle. Transfiguration, turning one object into another object. Hexes and jinxes. Every area of magic I can. 
Hmm, I think Secrets of the Castle sounds like the most fun. That's like, ooh, mystery. I'm down. <laughs> Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you glory, love, power, or wisdom? What does even a potion for glory mean? Wisdom, IMO. The rest is like, I don't care. Like, I don't need those. Wisdom. Left or right? The fuck do you mean left or right? I, I don't know! Right, because there's more red? I don't know. Because I'm right-handed? I don't know. <gasps> oh my god, it's happening. Choose your dominant hand? Oh, right-handed, oh, okay, got it. Okay, <laughs> okay, I got it, right-handed. I, I picked correctly. Okay! Wait, what do we, did you guys do the, did you, got, did you answer the prediction thing, David? What happened to the prediction? I got placed in Ravenclaw, which was only 4% of people <laughs> put points into. Okay, let's see. Oh. What? Really? I am not brave. <laughs> I don't even feel like what I answered felt like I was answering a Gryffindor like feeling. Okay. The hell? You probably know that some of Gryffindor's most renowned members include Albus Dumbledore and Harry Potter, but did you know that the sword of Gryffindor was made a thousand years ago by goblins or that head of house Minerva McGonagall's hobbies include correcting articles in Transfiguration today and supporting the Montrose Magpies? Huh. Interesting. You picked a white cat and lets it let its fur get on your robes. That's pretty brave. True. You're not wrong. Honestly, d don't go with either option. You're clearly a Hufflepuff, unrelated to the prediction I chose. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm surprised. Wow. Main character vibes. <laughs> Main character energy, whatever. <laughs> I like Ravenclaw better too. I'm okay with Ravenclaw, but this was fun. Okay, let's go. We are Ravenclaw. Okay. Boom, Ravenclaw, beach. Mm-hmm. Okay, you picked wisdom and curiosity answers. Weird you got Griff. I wonder what answers I picked made it Gryffindor. I don't know. Matching beanie gave it away? Ugh, true. That's what it was. Okay, sorry. I just switched in my HDMI. The apple? Is that a Gryffindor answer? You're Slytherin? What makes Slytherin people Slytherin? I picked golden apple and owls and got Ravenclaw. Is it because I picked the cat, maybe? Ambition and cunning. Okay, I'm okay with this. I'm down for Ravenclaw. So, we good. <laughs> oh, the winner, the 4% winners. Slytherin people ready to betray you? They are evil? Well, shit. Oh, I mean ambitious. <laughs> Yo, Ravenclaw. Okay, let's go. We're in it. The sort who makes an entrance. Yay! Nice. You belong in Ravenclaw. Yay! Woohoo! Ooh. That must be so like oh, nerve-wracking to have to do in front of everybody. Thing. 
Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Wow. What the F, man. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Okay. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Okay. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. I guess nice I just start. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. <gasps> common room! Oh, you haven't seen the Ravenclaw common room? Well, here we go. Let's check it out. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Okay. Oh boy. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Yeah! Totally knew that. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Thank you. Man, I loved a Harry Potter. Like, I played Harry Potter 1 game on PlayStation and, or no, on my PC. And then I played the Harry Potter 2 game on PlayStation. And I loved those games so much. They're so good. Anyone else? Do you guys remember playing those games on, like, like oh, long ago? Gone. Better head to the common room. Check it out! This is my room. It looks so fancy. It's pretty. Pretty nice. Does it look like super different in each room or whatever? Find your common room. All right. Common room upstairs? Oh, yes. Cool. Most mystical looking rooms, pretty cool. I'm telling you, Ravenclaw vibes, I'm down. I'm down. That's just brilliant, I mean, just have brilliant. for the right moment. You could... ah. different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Are they talking about me? Are you talking about me? Huh? Talk. Cool. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Sure. <laughs> Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't Dude, that say dragon was it, not frankly. okay. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Ooh, I find the stars fascinating. I've never been one for stargazing. I do like stars. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. 
Oh, a schedule. <laughs> Better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Be seeing you. <laughs> the Hufflepuff rooms look like a Hobbit home. Oh, really? Interesting. What does the Gryffindor and Slytherin ones look like? Or what do they look like, rather? Oh. That's cool. Samantha Dale. Cute. Under the Black I Lake, the windows give an underwater place. view. Whoa. Place you'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is <laughs> amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Please to meet Mommy. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wigginwald potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wigginwald potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Hmm. He is quite knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about uh, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigginweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Uh. Do students grow their own ingredients? Isn't it Hufflepuff who likes plants? I mean, who cares? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I herbology. don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares <laughs> where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. Uh, I guess we might as well say all the and dialogue. And the herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. Yeah. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Everyone's so nice. Apples. Let's go. Hey, oh yeah. Spin. Cool. What y'all talking about? What's happening? This place looks so fancy. <laughs> this should be interesting. Introduce yourself to Everett. Okay. Hello. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone for a dumb box. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. True. I'm actually a tad nervous. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself. And a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I <laughs> let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. Mm -hmm. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Uh, that'd be so weird if they traced it hey, back to you standing you right here and everyone Professor seeing you throw it. That'd be so weird. Just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. Oh, this place looks so cute. So cute. All right. Meet Professor Weasley outside the common room downstairs. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we can run. That's right. I forgot. Hello. Good morning. I trust Morning. you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? Yes, ma'am. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. 
You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Yes, ma'am. In light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Ugh, that Especially must suck. as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. Ooh. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education... Overwatch the Ministry, leagues? We've devised something extraordinary <laughs> to ensure your success. Here you are. Mm. Whoa-ho! What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Oh gosh. It would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean she it will keep back track there? of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice Think your magic so, AVBN. and educate yourself about wizarding law. Oh, okay. Education. We're in the Ravenclaw Tower. Sweet. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Okay. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Collect. <gasps> Guide pages. This bus created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Hmm. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Uh, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Open field guide. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Okay. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearance to critical upgrades. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. So, gear appearance reward. Hogwarts regalia spectacles? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Collection Clever, updated. Isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Okay. I'm assuming in order to do that, though, like, wait, what is this? Oh, it's like a whole... Options. Interesting. Hmm. And then... Are the spells the same for all houses? That's a good question. Gear? Hmm. Okay. Do I have an option? <gasps> I could have a scarf on. Cute. Do I want it though? Kind of nah. Kind of no. Unequip. Okay. It has a value, a sell value of 30 coins. What about this stuff? Well appointed. No stats. Inventory, collections. Oh! So this is the collecting stuff. Ah ha ha! Mm. Okay. 
map. Whoa, this is cute. Oh my gosh. All right. Interesting. I know, right? Ugh, I love collecting stuff. No time if you're in Ravenclaw, waste. are you I'm not in Hogwarts? Mm, yeah, what do you mean? I know, Dally, right? Impressive, TVH. Okay, reveal. Open. I can't open it right now. But why is it here if I can't open it? I want to open it! Ah! Okay, oh my god, I'm sorry! <laughs> Jesus! Wait, am I so- can I- am I able to do this? Am I allowed to open this right now? Rebellion. Protego. Lumos. Okay, she's Lumos. getting mad at me. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, open map. Ah, uh, sorry. Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the House Commons Room and the Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. So we want to go to... What? Select the library annex region? Oh, okay. Uh, Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall of flu flames for you. Use R to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flames with square. Okay. Oh my god, those were aggressive! <laughs> here we are. Quite the like, hello! These stairs lead directly to central hall. Well, now I missed something with that door. I couldn't open it. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Don't get me started on how Okay. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd Classic. like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay. Um. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade Tell me everything. Is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies mm. you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Right, right. Um. Sure, just tell Can me everything. Tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery Classic of defense class. against the dark arts is required mm -hmm. for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay. And then charms class. What will sure. I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, yes, ma'am. Your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging okay. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He showed us he a did, couple things. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. 
Do we say something? I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil. I was gonna Professor say Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. <laughs> yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They have a rare <laughs> aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. Um, the dragon flew in I our path. The dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Right. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class mm -hmm. myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank Fantastic. You. Yo, Wessor, thank you so much for the four months, dude. Good luck today. Appreciate it. Thank and you, thank you. remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't okay. get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay! Alright, talk. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation mm -hmm. regarding our late arrival. Uh, I didn't like to lie to her. I mean, we, you know... I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. True. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. Mm -hmm. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. You didn't keep the promise? What do you mean? Uh, playing it on the PS5. Hi, Kitsunet. How are you? Oh, my God. I have to say, chat, there's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> In this game, though, part of me just wants to, like, fight something or something, you know? Um, this logo, I guess, represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Okay. Um, how far in are we? We're, like, really early on still, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, we're still in just, like, the intro area, so, um, we took a little bit of time to do some side, uh, because we got placed in our sorting hat thing. And it was just like, you know, it was just a couple of questions. So I was like, oh, I kind of wanted to do a more in-depth version and see where we'd get placed. Which, so we did a little detour from the game for a little, little bit. Um, some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you'll need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. Uh, new spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Got it. Okay, track a quest. Um, let's do the defense against the dark arts class. Levioso, yes. Track it. Let's go. The map is enchanted to help I you figured. find your That's way. I figured. That's okay. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Ooh. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman. Yes. And I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. 
More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. <laughs> yes, we are sick reference. Oh my god, it's a good thing you ask. Pre-save this song right meow. Kill Bill cover coming soon. Um, you can check a preview on that link as well, but if you guys use Spotify, please be sure to pre-save the cover. It's coming out soon. It'll hopefully arrive on Spotify first before um, we post the video. The charm compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Oh, fantastic. Okay, cool. Let's... How do I... Hello? <laughs> Ooh. A little foggy. I mean, part of me wants to explore a bit, but I also want to just kind of progress the game a little. See what's up. Whoa! What's over here? I'll just die. Revenia. Ha! <laughs> Look at that! Painting of Ilius! Sweet. Oh, wait, look at all the stuff. Level two lock. Whoa. Oh, chat. I wonder if I could have unlocked that. I'm just gonna cast this all the time. Yo, Grizzly Baritone, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome on in. It's good to have you here. Wait, what's over here? Handy Ooh. resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Sweet! Alright, well that's kind of good, right? Probably a good thing to have had that. Cool. Do you get your covers copyrighted through CD Baby? I do it through DistroKid. Uh, side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts, marked as flags, and discovered by exploring the world. These quest rewards ex reward XP, but do not advance the main story, of course. So there's a side quest here. I guess. Mm-hmm. Rain, thank you so much for the four months! <gasps> a kitty? Hello, you can pet the cat. Oh, yes. Oh. Meow. Oh, that's, that's a good game. Good job, game. You've done it. Now I'm just looking for shit. <laughs> I'm just looking for everything. Hold on. Did I just see you do something? Rebellion, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm just gonna be doing this all game. All freaking game, bro. It's gonna be a problem. I'm not gonna do anything other than this. Revelio. <laughs> We're all doomed. Every 10 feet. Oops. Oh yeah, yeah. You do the same? Do you actually? Cause I'm like, oh god, now I'm just gonna be annoying with this shit, dude. Does, I wonder if this does anything or if it's just like interactables. For fun. What is that chime though? Revelio. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, it's right. Oh, it's this. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Louder the ding, closer something is. Mmm. So I was like, okay, I feel like this ding has to mean something. Dude, I'm a completionist as well. Uh, oh. oh. Mimic? <laughs> Beach? Lumos. Oh. Revelia. I, I guess, am I not able to open this? He's just side-eyeing me. You're gonna be real sad being a completionist in this game. 
hearts are so freaking much. I know, right? Oh my god. I don't like these eyeballs looking at me all the time. Revenia. Oh. How nice to see you, my young friend. Do I have to interact with these? In order to have them count for the thing? I guess not, right? Or wait. Should be okay, right? Them eyes looking at me like... Alright. Quest begin. Just pass close by. Okay, cool. Oh man, this is bringing back some memories right here. Is that all you've got? Oh shh! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I uh, only have one Hebridean oh, blood. Only if I ask, I guess, yeah. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Damn, she a beast. To the wise, age matters very little. <laughs> Today we will reveal this is how a spell I right that has saved me from <laughs> death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Mm -hmm. One thing I've learned as an Dummy. unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Steady your wand with L and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Pluress the corresponding input when the correct when prompted to accelerate your wand's path when you wrote it. Levioso. Got it. Levioso. Easy. First try. Now, let's try something a little larger. Man, that's, that seems so convenient to just be able to move shit out of the way. Like, dang, I need to reach that box up there. <laughs> I can't reach this off the top shelf! Let God. us begin with a basic cost. See how oh. the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent. Good. Now, well done. <laughs> Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. Dude. You start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. Okay. All right. This should be Potato. easy. Ha! Get effed! A perfectly executed Levioso. Get fucked! <laughs> lucky. Nothing nope. lucky. Lucky! Uh, beginner. You give as good as you get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually rolled. Nice try. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Yes! Professor Heckert, glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. 
again. Well done today. Thanks. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, cool. Oh, right. it. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. I want to face her in a duel. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. <laughs> nice so work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, <laughs> perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've had my share of wand combat. You know, we could say that. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know. Me too, I thought. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Hmm. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Sounds you a little sussy, though. Value. If you want we to are in Ravenclaw. Your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the Fight rules. I know, now. right? Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, mm. you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. <laughs> we'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual skill. Look for Luke Dude. and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. I'm ready. If you're interested. Okay. Till next little, time. A little sussy, but oh, quest complete. Defensive against the riveting dark arts. <laughs> Easy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, does it ding if it's like? Like a lock, or does it ding when- oh, oh, I see the thing. I guess it dings if it's just like artifacts as well. Something else dinged. They're dinging in there! Level- is that 2 or 11? Weren't some of the wizards like hundreds of years old in Harry Potter? Like I wouldn't- wouldn't you see some younger versions of some in the movies Rebellion. at all? I'm not sure. Oh my god, why is this just in here? Only dings for the pages? Oh, okay. Huh. Always thought Leviosa was for first years. Not anymore. Huh. Okay. Off on another adventure, are we? Gotta go up. Wait, what? Oh, yes. Level two. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Ooh. Give me a cup of tea. Thank you so much. It's delightful. Ooh. Ah. Ha! Ah. There you are. <laughs> We're gonna be spending so much time doing this. For sure. For sure, for sure. There's so many things to interact with in this game, it's crazy. So much to explore. Nothing. Oh. What is that? Oh, chest upstairs. Let's go. I know, hey. Rebellion. Oh, I hear something. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Is that what it- do those count towards the Rebellion thing too, I suppose? It'll unblue, right? Okay. <laughs> I think 20 hours of gameplay alone will be spent in this castle collecting everything, literally. Alright, right here. Begin. <sighs> I know, hey, a Canadian thing because I watch another Canadian streamer and she says the same thing. Oh my god, it might be. <laughs> yeah. It 
It's very Can possible, I Tuna. I don't know. There's an open seat here. Cute. Yeah. Rain, by the way, I don't Hello. know if I thanked you already, but thank you for the four months. So I appreciate you are it, the dude. New have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome oh to God. year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? <laughs> now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. He's but so animated. Before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Let me mm -hmm. guess, he's gonna ask me. Uh, 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 uh. I is am that afraid it what's is happening? Too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it. You all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. Okay. Vaguely, thanks for the 30 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right. Steady your wand. Ash, uh, Axio, Ash, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Axio is how I'm assuming. Accio? Accio. Oh, Accio. Accio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot mm -hmm. of potential, but remember. Swift learner. <laughs> potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. Accio. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Mm. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all <laughs> seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Okay. All right. It's like a point of interest, like a scroll and stuff like that. Uh, so does like the teleporting green, the flu, whatever, does that count as it <sighs> or no? Thanks, I've Eva. always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Oh, okay. hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of He's sport great. to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Dang. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? All right, so... Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The right. trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Mm. Now, I could keep talking about theory. Splendid! Don't lose your composure. Okay. Excellent control there. Uh, no! That's it! Dang it. Got it. <laughs> Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. Hey! Well, certainly no sport in playing without <laughs> some friendly competition. Okay. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. It's not terrible, okay? But, you know. Oh. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Do we start whenever? Whenever. 
Why are you laughing? Cuz Oh wait, can she knock my thing down? Is that a thing? Can she knock it down? Yes. Quite impressive. She ain't gonna she ain't gonna, but I will. <laughs> I feel like being nice today. Splendid. Wait, she beat me? Okay, never mind. I felt like being nice, you know? <laughs> Are you sure you're not Slytherin? When it Let comes to playing games, interesting, I'm a little competitive, okay? <laughs> I'm a little bit competitive. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, we go again? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Okay. <laughs> I'll say. Day enough chatter. Focus now. You will never would have guessed. Nah. This round settles it all. Okay. Here we go. Girl, what are you doing? What is you doing? Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Whew. I will get you back for that. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. Let us see this. Don't you dare. Push it off. Don't you dare! Ooh, she thought about it though. She thought about it though. <laughs> Hi, Beto man! I'm doing good! It's good to see you. Yeah, no worries. That'll happen. Oh, we going a little easy, you know. We we Excellent control there. Knew what I was doing. Got me nervous there for a hot second. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. 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 What are you so excited about? You're down 20 points. <laughs> Not to worry. Okay. We still won. It's fine. We just had to sandbag to make her feel better about herself. It's okay. Vaguely, thank you so much for the 30 months, by the way. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> you were being too mean to her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes winning a game just gets the best of me. Okay? I'm sorry. Good game back there. I must admit, I Could think be meaner. I underestimated you. <laughs> Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. Oh. It gets easier, I promise. She's so sweet. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it <laughs> lightly. I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Crazy. Um... I don't know if I want to do a whole lot of dialogue. I feel like we've just experienced so much dialogue that I'm like kind of well, dialoguing nice out. <laughs> I want to play more you. of the game, so... And with you. Ah, You're great, though. I think Professor Ronan nice wants to, to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Okay. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. You can use them on humans? Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Oh. 
I was like, wait, what? Word, if you would. Hello. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did mm. well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Uh -huh. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Sounds like if you want the upper hand, you have to wear your birthday suit. <laughs> Can't get me with Akio with that. Oh man, that's too funny. But yes, I did watch the newest. Last night or yesterday, I watched both episodes of The Last of Us that I hadn't seen. And they were both so After my good. After the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, So Akio good, chat. Flying everywhere. I was like, man, Hello. I'm gonna cry for sure. How's your first day coming along? Guess who cried for sure. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Uh, it's kind of you to I've say. Been fortunate. Beginner's luck. It wasn't as ugly as the third you not to be so humble episode, and to that's trust for your sure. abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Waiting for all of season one to come out before binging it? For sure, dude. Dude, they're doing an amazing job, though. Like, it, it's been really, really good. Like, really, really good. Aww. <laughs> Reference to the show. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, no ding. That's when everything changed. Two different cats. You could pick any point in history and oh. the werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves. Reveal? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the, it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. So this I should cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. I wonder what this means. Obviously we I don't think we can do this yet. Oh Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You're and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack. This has to be like a... With Professor Black. <laughs> Dude, this guy is so annoying. Whatever, he, whoever is saying whatever they're saying is annoying me. This has to be like some kind of like... Something I don't know yet. What if I just keep trying random shit without knowing what it means? <laughs> just out of curiosity. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Well, we'll figure it out later. We'll... Rebellion. Oh. We'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes. Where am I going? Oh. What is what's up with this though? Hey Zoso, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome on in. Uh what about here? Ding. How is the stream, Zoso? Aha. Right here. Uh right here. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. We are checking out Hogwarts Legacy. We're on our first day playing. Um it's I feel like we're st we're still really really early in the game. So we have we're like we just finished two classes. 
And that's about it so far. Very early. Make the ball the statue is holding float? Oh my god. Oh, what? Huh, so there's- I could do that with this kind of stuff. Okay. I have to keep that in mind. Mmm. So much for no help. Okay, no help other than that. Because now I- now that's helpful to know. No more help. No more help. It's good to know that I can interact with stuff in that way, though. Pavelio. Okay. <laughs> And I was like, oh, so we helping now, huh? <laughs> oh, wait, there's this. Oh. Okay. Well, there's a unicorn. What does this say? What would 12 mean? Unicorn? Five, three, five, zero question mark. I'm sure I'll get like a class on how to do these, but part of me wants to try to figure it out beforehand. But what does it mean, I wonder? Five? If these are math equations of sorts, I don't know. I haven't been to school for math in years, okay? So, I want to say, like, my mind is telling me, like, maybe 3 plus 5 is, like, 8, and then it's, like, 1, 2, like, 1, 2, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, whatever this is. We can, oh my god. I was like, did I get it? Did I do it? <laughs> okay. We had to pet the kitty. The, ki the cat wanted attention. Okay, sorry. Octopus thingy. It's not an option! So maybe it's five minus three, which is two, which is the unicorn. Which also is not an op- wait, was that it actually? No, it's not. Okay. Well, I'm weirded out now. Okay, well... But there's a unicorn. Why is there a unicorn? What does the unicorn mean? What would it mean? Zero. What does zero? Five, three, and zero. Unicorn, four, and twelve. What would it mean? May like hmm What if it's on this side? Like it's one, two, not unicorn. And then twelve minus four. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it whatever that is?
But there's a unicorn. Okay. But there's this here. Because this was the double question mark, but this was the answer for the first one, and then this was the answer for the second one. I don't know, man. Oh, refined dueling gloves? Okay. Wide mirror? Rebellia. I'm confused as well. I don't know how I just did what I did. There's another door like this. Maybe, maybe if I can. Handy resource indeed. Your uh, guide. Hang I on one second. Me. Inventory. What, what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Okay. Plus three offense. Ooh. Black leather gloves. No trait applied. We could use this. She's just trying to be humble chat all planned. <laughs> I know, let's go to the other door and see if we can do it again. Cause I feel like what, like it made sense if the question marks weren't reversed. Like the octopus was there from what I wanted to answer for the first question mark and not the second one. So that's why I'm confused. Uh, have we been here? We have been here. Okay. If you press square, you can change the appearance, by the way. Oh, so like it's a transmog, so I can have the stats but change the appearance? Is that what you mean? Okay. Um, now where... I see this. Let's get that. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented... Blur, blur, blur. Okay, where was that other door, though? I don't think it was this way, was it? Oh, I think it was this way, actually. I think it was like lower and like around here. Or out here. Or out here? <laughs> oh man, I can't remember where it was. I think I missed it. I missed it. Okay, no, we have to find it. There's one in the bell tower, I know that. Revelia. Oh, chat. Found one. Okay. Hmm. Question mark there. So this, there are two question marks, but I only see one wheel for it. What are you doing? Hmm. But why is that? Is there one elsewhere? Oh, there's one up here. Okay, so there's one up here, and one down here. All right, now let's see if it was a fluke, okay? So 21, what I did was I did minus. So 21 minus 11 is 10, right, chat? 10, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Owl. But what the freak? Okay, wait, but then there's owl. But then there's that as well. The like anteater thingy. So is it like with eight? Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'd be ten minus eight? Which would then be two. So it could either be the spider or the. I don't know though. Spider or unicorn? Okay, there's a spider. Let's let's give that a try. Like if that is what it is. So 17 minus 1 minus what is This is a mystery. No. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's gonna make any sense. Cause 16, it would be 11, right? If, it, if I'm doing what I'm thinking. One, two, three, four, five. It would be 11, but there's no such thing as 11. There's no such thing as 11. I have heard of Weezer, yes. It's very random. Hmm. Hmm. No 11. Well, let's see what the top gives us for options. I don't know. I don't get it. But what is this? Why is it highlighted? Can you give me assistance book? Paper? Hmm. Lumos. Let me open. Lumos. Hmm. What does it mean? Unless it's the opposite way. So it could be 21 minus 11 minus 3. Right? Maybe. You didn't notice before? Wait, you finally noticed it? What? The paper? What do you mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, I see the paper, but I don't know if that's supposed to help me with something. Do other spells on the paper? I mean... Ah, there it is. I was focusing on this. I gave up on the paper. Okay. <laughs> 21 minus 10. I mean, it's 10. And then maybe minus 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Lizard thingy. Let's go with that. Gimme lizard thing. Okay, okay. 
And then 17, let's say minus one, two, three, four, five, six, plus 10. So it would be one. <laughs> Shot, I'm really bad at math. So one would be the owl. Yeah, chat, try not to help too much. I know you guys, like, want to help out, but I like to try to figure it out myself. There's no owl! Unless it's in this Pepega backwards state. Ravenia. Okay, it's one. It's one... So what what if what if this again it's just backwards so this is the one and what did I say the other answer was eight was it I thought it was whatever that is one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so maybe it's just the Dragon. It's not an option! Dang it. Okay, think again. 21 minus 11 minus... 3? It would be 7, yes? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 would be the lizard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 would be the dragons. Okay, let's say it's the owl plus the dragons. I'm gonna go with that. Owl plus the dragons. Revelia. Did I do it? I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. Oh yeah, I have to press the button to open it. I forgot. Okay, wait. I forgot. I had to press the button to open. She's gonna hate herself when she figures out what's wrong. It's okay. Hold up. Ugh. Thinking. Shit! So, that's not it. Unless, unless my math is wrong, <laughs> which could always be a thing. The confidence that I thought I was so sure about it. God, 21 minus 11. Minus one, two, three, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lizard. But if it's the other way, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the dragon. Oh, yeah. So if I did it backwards, the first answer was the dragon. And the second answer was fuck my head hurts okay dragon for the first one which is upstairs i'm just gonna do that and then I just hang on this doesn't make any sense and i don't care but we're just gonna go with it because that's what i did for the last one and it worked somehow okay okay and then this one it just has to be just has to but it's not Revelio. okay what if it's one two three four five six one two three four five what if it's five 
No, wait, what if it's six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus one, so it's ten. Which would be ten minus seven. So the answer would be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the same thing, is it not? One, two. Is it? It could be different. That could be it. Fuck! <laughs> this doesn't make any sense! Your math intrigues me! <laughs> oh. Okay. Part of me just feels like I'm gonna get a class and they're gonna tell me how to do these doors. And then it's gonna be much easier, right? That's what I'm thinking. But I am trying to five head this and it's not working. Fudge. No help, no help. Maybe I should just come back to it. Maybe we should just come back to it, chat. Because I can't figure it out with just thinking about it. But I tried. Yeah, we can come back later. It's okay. Professor Weasley wants to see me in her classroom track. I hope we see that door again this stream. <laughs> me too. Me too. Uh, okay. Okay, remember it's here, okay? You gonna be so mad when you figure it out? I, I bet. I bet. Hey, yo, Rowan! Thanks for the 22 months. What Had to resub the for these math Jessica? lessons. <laughs> I was thinking the same Thank thing, you. Dick. Perhaps you could help. Oh, Jesus. Oh, excuse, Deke. I felt like I almost had it. Oh, dang. Ah, there you are. It was starting to hurt my head a little bit. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? She's trying to pry it out of me. Mm-hmm. Imagine going the rest of your stream wondering, though. I'm gonna dream about the door for sure, for sure, dude. Like, no doubt, man. Uh... I feel bad just straight up lying and she knows. Hasn't Professor Fig said anything? I'm Then I'm putting it on him. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. <laughs> Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Extra assignments? What more work? Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including mm -hmm. seeds, mm -hmm. potion recipes, and spell crafts. Stupid Thank door! <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it! With the perfect wand. Ooh, I'm excited. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a club. <laughs> Hope so, <laughs> Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yes. Uh, hmm. I think Natty's cute. I like her. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. 
Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your <gasps> friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time Wait! The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I'm thinking about the door! <laughs> I was thinking about the door the whole time. I'm sorry. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rewards, da 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 Repero, which is required to complete other quests. Okay! I, ha I got another idea, chat. I got another idea. I don't think I got it, but I got another idea. Another one of my stupid ideas. It just might work this time. Okay, oh, hello. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay. <laughs> Unique idea. Okay. Hang on, I'll, I'll catch you in a second. I, I got something to attend to, okay? All right, so there were two. Two numbers. One and seven. Right? One, coincidentally, is here. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. Dang it. I thought I was on to something. One, two, three, four, five, six. No! What the fuck does 11 have to do with anything? Okay. Well. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, hang on. Okay. What if this is ten and then that is six? If that's the case, then. I would be missing one to make 17, right? 10 plus six plus, I would need one, therefore it would be the owl. But the owl is only here. And we're just, I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. So if I'm thinking to do that, 11 plus, Three is fourteen. <sighs> Hang on a second. I need a fucking calculator because I don't do math, okay? Twenty one minus fourteen equals seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lizard. Lizard plus anteater thing plus eleven should equal twenty one. No? Lizard. Shit. I don't know if there's a lizard up top, up top though. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, it's fine. Do the opposite. One... On one side was this. This is not gonna make any fucking sense again. And then the lizard on the opposite side is the dragon. It's not gonna have it, is it? Oh, they have the lizard here, though. <sighs> Dang it! You sound crazy out of context! <laughs> Guys, I felt like I was so on to it! Fuck. Does that not sound like it would make sense? 11? Okay, wait, wait, wait. What if it's the opposite, right? 11? 
God, 21 minus 11, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is 8. So... <laughs> it could be 2, which could either be the spider or the unicorn. It could be 2. If we do it this way. So if we do it this way, that means spider. Okay, give me give me a second. Okay. If we do it this way. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. Shit. If that's one, and that's five, that only gives us six, which means I would need 11. Which doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out before if anyone t teaches me how to do this thing. I don't know how to do this yet. I'm just trying to five head it before I figure it out. I just left and have come back to confusion. Yes. As have I. So if I do it this way, right? In the same way as the first way. I'm trying to reach 17 as the number. So if I use that, this should be 1. And then this would be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. However, if it works better this way. If it's owl, because then that's... No, wait. This would be 10... And then this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be 16, therefore just needing one to reach 17, which would be the owl. But I don't think there's an owl upstairs. It's doomed. It's doomed, unless... Dang it! <sighs> it's a demi guys, not an owl. It's an owl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What else could it be? If I swear, if we go into divisions, I am out of here. I'm out. If we're going into times and divisions, I'm leaving. So I'm trying to think of basic stuff. Seventeen. It's either a ten or a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Oh. Listen, I haven't done this kind of math in like forever, okay? I'm not going back to that because my brain physically cannot. <laughs> so I don't know if I can get this yet. 10. Oh, what a damn shame. Unless... Unless... This is- this doesn't even make any sense. I couldn't even explain this to you if I tried. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Fine, we'll give it a break. We'll give it a second. Ah, uh. oh, there you are. I'm losing it. No, we stay. I can't. I need to a new spell to teach me. Span my Indeed knowledge. I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. 
Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Listen. <laughs> What if we go to the first door we've ever seen? I'll start on the task right away, Professor. The first door. The one that was in my freaking, what's it called? The, the, the Ravenclaw one. Maybe that's the most rudimentary one. The easiest, most basic one. How did I get here, though? Oh, I had to fast travel, right? Pavelio. Ding, ding, ding. Crap, where is that dinging from, though? Oh, and I'm away from it. Oh, beach. Where are you at? Yeah, the numbers disappear when you solve it, or you can go through the door when you solve it. Huh? Hey. Oh, crap. Come back here. Um, there's too many places to go. Okay. First things first. I Where is my How do I get back to my... Whoa... What? My... Ravenclaw. My Ravenclaw... Place. The bell tower wing? Is that the one? Is that it? No. Oh, left side. Great Hall. I think it might be Ravenclaw Common Ravenclaw Tower. Okay. Got it. We have. Listen, I'm going to figure out how this actually works because we opened the door but without actually knowing how. <laughs> we need to fix that. Oh, how convenient. Here, here we go. 21, 13, and 1. For the love of God. Ooh, new scarf. Okay. Okay. Here's another door. A different one. Maybe, maybe this will help. <laughs> okay. So they're all in the same position. So... 13. What did I do in the first one? I was doing minus. So if I do 13 minus 1, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that 3? Guys, I'm so bad at math. I hate this. 13. Minus one minus nine is three. Three is anteater thingy. Give me, show me anteater. Yes. It's taking everything I can to not do it. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are very, you're, you're at your wits end here. Kuya Aaron, thank you so much for the two months. I really appreciate it. Okay, 21. Minus 13. Is 8. Wait. 
one, two, three, four. Minus four. So that gives me four. So dragon heads. Is that not? 4 plus 4 plus 13 equals 21. Okay. That's not it. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 13 minus 7 equals 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What are you? Something on a branch. Six. Something on a branch. These all have the same things, is it not? They look like the same... Okay. Okay. 13. Minus 1, minus 2. 10. Walrus. There's no walrus on this one, though. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Don't judge me. Okay. It has to be, I have to be on some kind of correct line of thinking, no? Like, I feel like I just have to be. Thirteen. Spider? What does it mean? You are so close yet so far away. Yes, then again, no. I can't believe I just got that random, that first door randomly. I so badly want to try to figure this out before I actually learn how to do it. <laughs> I hate myself. Why am I like this? 13. One spider. See, like, the thing that's throwing me off is, like, the really high numbers. The really high numbers, because, like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, maybe it's, like, one opposite of where the spider is. Or maybe it's, like, one above or below where the spider is. But then, 13, why are you here? 13. And then, there, so like, there's a 13 here and here. Is that a coincidence? Was the small number the, the big number? I forgot in the other one. I don't know. Ugh. Revenia. Anyone else trying to will the answers into her brain? <laughs> okay, let me think again. Okay, 13. One. If we're doing like minus, that means 12. There's 12, the number 12 we can work with. The spider could be six, and then the other thing could be six, but then why would the spider be six? That makes no sense. Spider. 
because fuck it. And why am I doing the spider? Because six plus six is 12 plus one, 13. It makes, I don't understand. I don't even know. Okay, 21. God, 21 minus 13 is eight. I already tried this with the four, the dragon head. But what if? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, unless we do it backwards. Which would be unicorn lizard. What you got for me? Unicorn, lizard, fuck! <laughs> Every time I press on the button to check to see if it's right, I have this big amount of hope. <laughs> and I'm like, God, please let this be it. And then it never is. I, I, oh god. I'm never gonna figure it out, chat. Yo, an average bear, thank you for the five months. I really appreciate it. Chat, do you think I can figure it out? Like, actually, you can answer it honestly. Because if I can't, if you genuinely don't think I can, I should probably move on. Yes? She's gonna get a math PhD for no reason. <laughs> yes, you're so close. Really? Okay. Sick reference, bro. Thanks for the 100 biddies. As the amount of times you take to open this door approaches infinity, the odds of you figuring out are each one. 100%. Okay. 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 All right, I'm trying to think of all different possibilities and my brain is running out of options. 21 minus 13. I feel like that's all I have to work with. Sir Lord Baby Peen, thank you so much for the four months. What a beautiful name. <laughs> I really appreciate it, thank you. Okay, so if we go the opposite side of this, like this would be four, in you know if we started this way but it's obviously not that so we're gonna go the opposite way one two three four five six seven which means if the answer okay 13 minus seven leaves one so one can either be the walrus or the freaking shit okay It's gonna have to be that one. This this is this is the one. And it's the double question mark. Okay? So this is one. We're going by this means one. Which means this means two for the thirteen. Which means we need ten, which is walrus. This ain't gonna work. Okay. So if it's the opposite, this also means 10. For this, for whatever reason, I don't know why this would be this. Because this, it, it's just... I don't know, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know why. Cause this always only gives the same 
it gives what? Okay, what what are what is the common thing here, huh? Uh unicorn? That? Is it just the like every other? It's every other thing. So the uh, the other one will always have the owl, the anteater, the thing on the stick, the lizard, and the spider. Okay, so again, oh god damn it! I think that this would be the answer for ten. Opposite this. So the opposite of, oh, what did we have before? That shit. No. God. Did I try the doorknob? There is no doorknob. Okay, okay, 13 minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say nine, okay? Four, one, two, three, four. It would be the dragon. But that's the wrong thing to have the dragon. So the opposite would be the lizard. There's no way. I fucking... Okay. No, this isn't gonna make... This doesn't make any sense! <laughs> uh... Unless... It's Dragon Walrus. Fuck. <laughs> no. What would that answer even be? Dragon Walrus? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Okay, okay, okay. Let's think of other options, okay? We have eight. What are you thinking? What am I thinking? Head is empty as fuck. Okay, eight. Literally don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> if I... 21 minus 13 gives us the number 8, like 8 numbers. 8 to work with. There is the dragon, which could either be 4... Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? If we do seven, then that means there's one remaining, which was again, the walrus or the stupid fin thingy. Cause they're the first on the thing, unless it's like, Unicorn is one. <sighs> is that a possibility? That sounds confusing as hell. But we could say unicorn is one, okay? Unicorn is one. <sighs> and then. Okay, so if unicorn is one, what does that mean, Looney? What does that mean? If unicorn is one, so 21 minus 13 equals 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Unicorn is 1. 
don't know why. It just is. Okay? Unicorn is one. Remember that. One. So, hence... 13 minus 1 is 12. Okay? 12. <sighs> the spider is minus 2. Therefore, 10. It's just whatever is the last of this thing. So the spider. The spider's 10. <laughs> ah! It's not 10! What if it is? For some reason. I feel like I'm now I'm trying to think like what if this is the the order of how things actually are for some reason okay makes no sense I'm trying to make literally any sense of anything in my dumbass brain how long has this taken I don't know but we are not finishing this game anytime soon because I'm gonna be stuck on this door all stream Twenty-one. It has to be minus. There's no way it's a plus. There's no way. Because if it's plus, then we're going into infinity, and I cannot handle that. There's no way it's a plus. It cannot be. Right. <laughs> Surely. Surely. Does this mean that there's like, in, wait. Okay, well, let's think here. So 13 minus one is 12. I guess. The one question mark could mean like the okay the two question marks could mean even numbers potentially which means unicorn could mean two but then it's just the same it's just two four six eight ten and then it's one three Five, seven, nine. Which should then be pretty clear that this means two. And then, so, okay, hang on, hang on. 21 minus 13 equals eight minus four. So, in my mind, this should be it. Hang on. 13 minus 1, 12, right? Minus 9, 3. Anteater? Are you kidding me? I felt like that made the most sense. I felt like that made so much sense in my head, dude! Guys, that one made the most sense. That one made so much sense. I felt- I thought I had it. I genuinely thought I had it. Straight up. I'm not even gonna lie. I literally thought that was it. 
Let me think again. Okay. Did I do math wrong? Maybe 13 minus 1. I'm in denial. Dude, it just makes so much sense! Uh, <laughs> it just makes so much sense! Why minus? Because if it's plus, then it's just too many options. There's just... It's just infinity. A virtual hug to your tired brain. <laughs> Dad, oh, thank you so much for the three months. Wait, was Liz here? Yo, Liz, thank you so much for hanging out. How's it going? I tried writing on a piece of paper. Uh, I don't have a piece of paper, but I'm gonna bust out. Oh, God. Okay. New note. Okay. Can I just draw on this? Okay. Okay. I have the iPad. Hang on. I don't know what else to do because, frankly, it just it it just made sense to me. I know, but that felt like it made so much sense because I know it's like you know this should be simple, right? So to me, what is simple would be how many times do these items go into twenty one? And it's like, okay, 21, you have 13. So if you do 21 minus 13, you have eight to work with. And then you have this symbol, which is the dragon, which there are two question marks, which to me means even numbers. It just makes so much sense. So dragon means four, because it's just like, you know, it's there, two, four. So it's just four and four. But it's not. <laughs> Does it not make- Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Do you guys at least get what I'm saying? And oh, thank you for the gifted sub to Liz. This is not the solution, but something that helps me a lot to move on with such things. So decide if you want to read further. Uh, oh yeah, I figured there was an item that would explain these puzzles. I figured. But I wanted to try to see if I could figure it out before, you know, the game tells you. No infinites options. You got two numbers and you got to figure out what the last number and question marks are. Yes, exactly. Exactly. But do you guys get what I'm, do you guys see what I'm saying with this whole, what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, I don't even think I'll be able to figure this out because I'm so stuck on the fact that I thought I had it this whole time. I had it. I feel like I had it. You know? Okay. Just give me a second. You had it, then you lost it. Did I actually come close? Because. So, 21. Where's my thing? 21 minus 13 will always be 8. So I have 8 to work with. You were closer than you think? eight for the bottom one i'm gonna be stuck on the answer is dragon because there's a dragon one two three four five six seven mm, i just did it with the wrong things and then 13 minus one obviously 12 oops how do i undo Minus one is the 12. And then the spider IMO means nine. <laughs> it, it feels like it's nine. Which then means that it's three. Wait. It has 
has to be. It just has to. I, I can't... I can't... I refuse to believe that this is not the answer. It makes no sense. Uh, oh, there's an actual hint within the spider, but that's all I'm saying. <sighs> the spider? <laughs> what is it so spider? Ugh, what do you mean spider? Beach. <sighs> what do you mean? What does anything mean? <sighs> this is a children's game. Tell us why spider is nine for you. Because this, so this goes in order of, like it's a one question mark. So to me that's uneven numbers because it's one. This is one, this is two, no this is three, this is five, this is seven, and this is nine. What do you mean what? Does this not- is this not logical? Is this not logical? Do you guys get what I'm saying? You're thinking too hard. How is it not logical? <laughs> how is it- how is it literally not logical? There's one question mark, therefore even- therefore uneven numbers. Obviously, I'm overthinking. But I'm trying to give you my thought process. <laughs> it's logical but overcomplicating. Big time overthinking here, yes. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but it, it just makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. If, it, if it's what I think it is, I'm gonna lose it. I swear to God, spider. You guys keep saying spider, that doesn't do anything for me. Okay. I'm trying to make sense of this thing. You have two sums, which each missing one. How else would you, they signify which is which? Is that a hint? That's probably a hint, but that's okay. Uh, how else would I signify? I don't know, I'm not good at math. Hmm. I first encountered a puzzle with a second triangle panel being quite hidden, so I thought it's just one triangle. How is it hidden? Oh no. She doesn't even get what I mean? Hang on. Okay. I got the spider thing? God damn it. Okay, let me read what Ando said again. You have two sums with each missing one. How else would they signify which is which? Two sums, each missing one. How else would they signify which is which? I don't know. <laughs> Well, no, I don't know. I think the fact that there's a 13 here and a 13 here is making my brain overthink even more. Somehow. Like, as if that wasn't even possible. <laughs> so, okay. 13. My brain hurts. Spider? What about the spider? One. Wait. 
What about it? Spider and this. Because now you guys are like, spider! And I'm like... Hmm. Okay. I could think about... So, t let's think about 13 minus 1 first. Because that, that's le less numbers, okay? 13 minus 1, there's 12. What would the spider signify here, for me? I said 9 because... It, it, to me, either nine, because, you know, I counted nine this way, or two. One, two. So then, what's left is ten. Ten, answer is either, it would be this, because if this is two, this is ten. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Ten. Ten. So if this is 10, sh yeah, I randomly did it the on a first door and I thought I figured it out. Yo, what? How, how do you guys not understand what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I just went into the game and tried every combination until it opened. <laughs> Well, I need to know what the door means. Ow. <laughs> oh. I understand, but it's wrong. I know it's wrong because I've tried all of them. Okay, Looney, it's a kid's game. It's a kid's game. It's a kid's game. Okay? You have to think simpler. But I, my brain just physically cannot. Okay? I'm a kid. You would think I would have this the most, like, primitive brain when it comes to math, because I don't do math, okay? Alright, 13, 1, spider, question. That just made it harder. <laughs> personally think we should try walrus dragon for the fourth time. Oh. What does it mean? Even the music in the game has given up on me. God. Revenia. All right, clear your mind. Lumos. Show me the light. Show me the way. Surely. There has to be something easier. Surely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thirteen minus one is twelve. But there's a spider. How do I count? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I I try to explain and the chat is like, huh? Okay, <laughs> twelve. Plus spider. What thirteen? One. Spider. Stop it with the spider, but the spider is there! I have to think about the spider. Well, I thought... I don't know what I thought. There's, okay. A dragon? Okay. What 
is this thing? Hear me out, chat. I'm trying to think again. I know. It's been a bit. But I am noticing... Uh... Things. So... I don't know what this is. But now I, I don't know if I'm reaching and overthinking extra again, okay? But... No, I don't know. Because I was like, okay, this has three heads. This has a one unicorn. Right? But then, so I'm thinking, okay, this has one, two, three, four, five legs. Okay. Am I, <laughs> am I straying further? But I don't understand what the, I get this is like an octopus, it looks like, right? Which has supposedly eight. But then this also has eight legs. So I'm like, may, no, this, this can't be can't be a thing. But then this is like conveniently one, maybe two horns, two, three, don't know what the fuck that is, five? S s how is this? This would be eight legs, that would make sense, but then why is this seven? Why is this six? Nay. But then this has one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine heads or something. Whatever the fuck this is. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So does that mean zero? But I don't. Oh, now you're saying yeah. Nay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but. Okay, so with that information, still don't get why this is six or why this is seven, but we're not going to talk about that right now, okay? If we go by that, okay, 21 minus 13 minus three-headed dragon equals five. Right? Five plus three plus thirteen equals twenty-one. So what is five? That thing. I'm going by the number of legs. Okay. So Thirteen. So what is that? So the ants. Okay. So thirteen minus eight. If it's eight legs, minus one is four, which is conveniently what? One, two, three, four, which is the bird. I I don't know if it's a bird. Is it a bird? No. Bitch. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear! Who starts at zero? 
Why is this zero? Why is this seven? Why is this six? That is exactly what I said! Why is it zero to nine? Can I tell you? Yes! Lizard has six letters. S-P-I-D-E-R is six. What? Yeah, unicorn is one. Well, yeah, I know that. One, two, three. I, I know that. But why... Spider eight is... Spider eight letters? One, two, three... What? Walrus has six letters? Y'all are not helping me with this right now. The letters is nothing. Why are you guys saying letters then? <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, the amount of times you said unicorn is one? Dude, guys, I swear my logic is better than whatever these guys came up with, okay? Okay, but like seriously though, what is this? Why, why is this six? Is it though? Come on chat, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Unicorn one horn. Yeah, 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 I get that. That's obvious to me. I'm asking about this. Uh, it's a horned lizard. Do horned lizards have- Okay, but what about the- uh, This! Do horned lizards have six horns? Four legs, one head, one tail. Okay, but what about the octopus then? I think the legs lined up on some of them to give you the hint of starting with zero? Bruh. Octopus has seven? No. No. Octo means eight. Incorrect. If unicorn is one, then before one is zero. Okay, yes, J Chosen, yes. I have discovered that, obviously. But I still don't understand why a walrus is zero. It's a squid? Do squids have seven? But they didn't draw it with eight? No, you're right, they drew it with four! Okay? <laughs> they drew it with four. Because walrus suck. Zero is a demi, guys, an invisible creature. Okay. And that's the point. Octo lost a tentacle, so it's seven. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They are all magic creatures. So I'm assuming in the game, this squid octopus thing has seven legs. Is that what it is? <laughs> nine, yeah, this made sense because I could actually count nine on this. The lizard was thinking of the number six. <laughs> God, okay, well, what's this thing? A bird? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Well, you know what, guys? The good news is we did it, okay? <laughs> Uh, but at what cost, I don't know. Pavilion. Our entire sanity. <laughs> okay, wait, wait! We can- okay, okay. We have- Yes! We can go to the other door now! Okay. Okay. But where was it? Uh... Where was the door? Is it this? Bell tower? No. But where is the door? But where, oh, where is the door? Central hall. Okay. So, we did get the loot, yes. So the reason I did that chat, I was aware that there was like a way that to get the info on how to do it. 
But because I am who I am, and I'm freaking Pepega, okay? I wanted to figure out the puzzle before the game be told me to how, because I wanted to be five head, okay? <laughs> I wanted to see if I could do it. I got so close so many times. You said you one question mark is uneven because it's just one, but the one and two is just to signify which puzzle part belongs to which equation. Well, yeah, I know that, but like when I was explaining that, that was like to me it like made sense, you know? Like I know this is, means like just to correlate this goes here and this goes there. I, I understood. I understood that. But like I just had to go so far beyond the box. Because I obviously wasn't getting the answer. So I was like, okay, maybe it was something crazy. I don't know. Okay, so now that we know, 21, okay? I'm just going to bust out the calculator because I'm done thinking. 21 minus 11, right? 10 minus 2 equals 8. Spider. Yes, okay. This is the door I started my nap on. Welcome back. I actually, you were right about the even and uneven part, but even starts with zero. Yeah, I was close, actually. I was pretty close. I didn't consider zero for some reason. Uh, okay, now 17 minus nine minus five equals three. Dragon head. Oh god, this is so much easier now that we know. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Addition should work too, right? Don't even bring that into this. Ha! <laughs> god. Okay, what did we get? Quidditch robe! Ooh. And... A landscaping... Landscape painting thingy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most difficult. Oh, Jesus Christ. You were actually too smart for this? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Okay. Okay. We can continue now. I just have to go take a bathroom break real quick, okay? We will continue the normal game as, okay? God, I need a breather for my brain to stop exploding for a second. When you started to like leave the first triangle and go to the other one and stack them together, I was laughing so hard because it's not only big brain, but hilarious. Ugh. Well, that was a lot of fun. You promise? I don't know. I might not come back ever again after that one. Sheesh. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'll be right back. Uh, quick, uh, yeah, quick bathroom break. BRB!
Oh, Lord have mercy on all our souls we endured. <laughs> I can't believe we all just... We, we did that. We all just endured that together, okay? We did that. We did it. Okay. The moment she went from unicorn is to what is one to spider being nine, I die. <laughs> oh, dude, it, I'm telling you, it made sense in my head, man. It, I thought I was doing pretty good. Okay. <sighs> unicorn is what? I didn't endure it, I just got here. Well, hey, Wakener. Oh, God, okay, that, that was, that was a journey and a half, I'll tell you that much, that was, that was insane, okay. I feel like I have bonded so much more with you guys after that ordeal. <laughs> oh. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Where is the flying page? Oh, 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 wait, no, wait, 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 oh, oh, oh. Hello? Wait, oh yeah, I have to do this, this thing. Got it. There we go. Also... Leviosa. <laughs> Got it! Rebellion. Okay. Uh... Not gonna lie, I forgot what I was needing to do here. Cl collect the flying page the flying in the page defense again. Oh, okay. somewhere. Got it. It's Listy! Who really wants ads with their lurk? Not me! Hey, thank you so much for the year! I really appreciate it, Listy. Oh, thank you. To help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Sad Zenobia predicament. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander <laughs> Pruitt's one of the worst. <laughs> That no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Okay. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I try hey, to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Okay. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I don't know what's going on. Oh, rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Uh, you don't have any friends? I can't make any promises? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> so not me, right? If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Kind of sad. Aww. Revelio. Chat, my brain hurts too, man. She just said a lot of words. <laughs> And I was not having any of them. Okay. Like, she said a lot of shit. <laughs> I don't know. It just went right over my head. Some, some, some gobstones. Like, I'm like, okay, gotta find those. Got it. Got it. Find the gobstones. What is this? Hello? Lumos. Ha ha ha! Okay. Now what? That's it? There's- that's all I get for that? <laughs> oh yeah! 
Yeah, the goodies we found. I totally forgot. We were so about <laughs> just everything that I forgot to look at our inventory and our gear. We got a lot of stuff. Face wear. Got some glasses. Whoa. Uh. Can I, like, just equip them but not wear them? Is that, like, an option? Yes. How to do... Because I don't like how this looks on us, but it has stats. You can even change the look. Huh? Is there a way that I... Oh, change appearance. Square. Interesting. I don't want any. Oh, that's cool. Alright, headwear. I can wear a hat. That's cute. I'm okay, though. We don't- it doesn't have any stats. Wait, no! Take it off! Take it off! And... uncheck. Thank you. Uh, we got a new cloak or something. A scarf. Offense, plus four. Ooh, it's cute! Do we want to wear it, though? No. Not right now. I'm not feeling it. Oh yeah, we got Quidditch. Superb! Ooh, this is kind of cool. Damn. Sure, right? It's kind of fire. Outfit? Oh, it's the one and only. I kind of like it. Let's go with it. Sweet. Uh, you can even make them look like any gear you've ever collected, even if that gear is no longer in your inventory. Oh, that's sick! Cos- co Cosmogs? Transmogs. <laughs> what the heck is a Cosmog? Alright, so... Let's follow this thing. Whatever it may be. Oh, I'm thinking Cogma and Transmogs. <laughs> Jesus. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Okay. Gobstones. Show me gobstones. Well, time to look out for another thing. Cogmog. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh, what? Revelia. Why'd he... Why'd he leave? Okay, why does it say that there's a thing out there, but then there's not a thing out there? Oh, is it... Oh, it's a locked thing. Hogsmeade. Okay, what am I doing right now? I am doing... Oh, gosh. Getting lost. Uh, ooh, required level two. Oh yeah, Reparo. Should speak with Lunkin about secret dueling club. Oh yeah. Okay, we need to be doing this. Return to Professor Ronan. Where are he at? But what is over here? What is twenty meters away? I'm doing a, oh, I was doing a side quest. Gotcha. I the preliminary okay. Tasks I completed these Take care, Nibs! Professor. Yeah, thank Marvelous. you so much! You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Sure. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Man, this is giving me throwback. Okay. Nice. Good job. Take care, AVBN! Thank you so much! <laughs> we did it together, chat. 
Uh, can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Okay. Hmm, broken objects, hey? Ah, such as this in the room That's that it. we were in. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Hmm. Repair it. Nice okay. done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. So sad. Uh, play it on the PS5, yeah. This is around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. All right, that makes me, that's the second time she said it, so that part of me wonders if there's a gobstone around here. Aha. I keep oh, pressing L2 instead of R2. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Aha. How many gobstones do I need to get for her? Oh, little kitty cat. Nice. Pavelio. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's that door we love. Hold on. There was. I guess we could just continue with this, right? Yeah. Let's do that. I'm assuming we can do. Uh, we can like go back to other stuff just like whenever, like side quests and stuff. I'm assuming that things won't get locked out. Oh, another one lock. Handy resource indeed. You're Where the hell am I going? Da -da -da -da. Actually, trying to figure out what the number seven is on the door, and I can't find an answer. Wait, really? A marmite? Is that the answer for it? Mm hmm. Oh. What am I missing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Well, what's number Everyone four? thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Mm-hmm. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. Same. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay. <laughs> Do come and uh, find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Oh, so these spots mean something. Okay. There's like a statue of a round guy down some stairs. Round dude, but like, but I can see like that red. That's gotta be over here, like right here. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. What the fuck? Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. So now there's that empty frame up in the thing that we did too. Crap, where was that though? <laughs> uh, was that in the Ravenclaw area? Lenora? Top post is this. Controller thing. players did. turn camera acceleration How? all the way down and camera sensitivity up. Wait, what? I'm solving it by accident again? No, I know what I'm doing! Uh, how- you did? How? I followed the clue. Clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. Mm -hmm. Very logical, I suppose. Pity turn camera acceleration so all the way down. Solving it. What's that you for? Have a knack for solving riddles. Matty's good at mm. that too. So is a meat. I can try. Although he does tend to over explain. 
Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. I get it. I should have seen that. Cobalt regalia. Okay, okay. Uh, so settings. Settings. Controller players, turn camera acceleration. Would that be under... Camera acceleration? All the way down? And camera sensitivity up? Oop. Oop. Makes it better to play? Does that save? Did that save it? Okay. Let's see. That does feel decent. That feels pretty good. All right, cool, cool. All right, um, hey, yo, Erase, thanks for the two months. How's it going? Good to see ya. Welcome on in. All right, so I'm gonna forget the other place that we just were. Where was that, though? I fast traveled here from the Ravenclaw place. I'm gonna forget about it, so I wanna make sure I do it right. Or I don't forget, because I don't wanna forget these things. So we'll go back, we'll backtrack, and then we'll continue. <laughs> I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Crap. Ha ha. Oh my gosh, I keep doing the... Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Oh, okay, I'm doing other things here. Ta-da! Okay, I think I'm actually in the wrong spot. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Would I support this coat real life? Or sport this coat real <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Crap, is this not the spot? I don't think this is it, because I don't remember going up and down. Gosh, why am I so lost in this game? Oh no, I remember where I was now, now that I'm all the way over here. No, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Okay. How do we get the doors? <sighs> Through a lot of pain and suffering, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We... Finally figured it out. We finally figured it out through like the horns, not like the number of horns things had. A dash of powdered back off on another adventure, are we? Okay, it's this way. Oh my gosh. It was like how many legs something had, had how many an eye on high places yeah. around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. All of that stuff. Okay, it was around here, right? Hello? What did you just say? Not sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. We'll be sure to tell him how very much you despise him. What the f- Okay? What the hell? Yeah, we're playing on the PS5. Yes, sir. Oh, this is fixed. It wasn't even broken. Okay, so I wanted to, gosh, I feel like finding the gobstones is gonna be like impossible to just know where they all are. Um, Revelia. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, the painting, the painting up here. Got it. Protego. Oops. Lumos. Okay, there's like a light thing and a tapestry, tapestry, tapestry thingy. There's a cat. Hmm, chandelier. Hmm. Yeah, the music in this game is wonderful. Is it... 
Shouldn't I be able to fast travel to these uh, green thingies? Not petting the cat. Too many cats to pet. Uh, okay, so I need to look for like a chandelier. It's got to be decently close by, I feel like. Because we have to walk all the way back to the spot, right? Let's see. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Not here. Okay. If you track the quest, it might tell you where they are. Uh, I haven't tracked it actually. Okay. Let's see. Can I go through like these doors? Oliver Herdonia? Oh, I can. Well, this doesn't seem like the place. Maybe. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. There you go. It will show you the area in of interest, or is this a spoiler? We could try to check it out. Well, actually, for like this stuff, like the um, for the stuff where it's like the gosh paintings and just random things around okay it's gotta be here yep i see it uh lumos all right come with me you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was Ta-da! There we go. Nice. Dude, we have done, like, no main quests. <laughs> like, at all. Oh, okay. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. There's, like, so much to explore. It's kind of crazy. You can just go anywhere you want. This way? Upstairs? What? Sounds like it's above me. It's insane. Like, I'm gonna get so lost in this game. I already have. Pavelia. Aha. There we go. This man, this game has main quests, right? Uh, is it this way? It calls to me. Oh my God. Revelia. Where is this thing? Uh, above me? Ain't no way. Oh, wait. Something's up here. This looks like it could be. No, nah, ain't no way. <laughs> How would I get up? Some, oh, probably just staircases. Maybe. Maybe not. I posted a pic of what you looked like in <laughs> general chat. Wait. <laughs> Literally me. Uh, literally. Me just trying to figure out. God. Gonna be max level before the first boss? Probably. Knowing us, I'm getting lost. Oh, what's over here, though? Ah, another one. Lumos. A room full of green stuff. 
Gotta be up here, right? Rebellion. Surely. Surely. Oh, look at that. Huh. Wait. Ah, oh, this place is familiar. <laughs> we spent so much time here. Yeah, online would be pretty sick. There we go. We're freaking pros! Alright, nice, nice. You just used the hint I wanted to share? <laughs> uh, where to? Alright. We've explored. Actually! What happens if I track this? I'll have to find six? Let's see what happens if we track it. Looks like it's showing me a spot, but it's kind of far. Really? Gosh. Okay. Looks like it's telling me to go this way. Pavelia. I feel like this is one of those quests where I should probably do it over time. And I probably won't, you know. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Yes. Uh is that one? Oh my god. Wait, wait, what? What is this? Lumos. Revelio. Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's one of Zenobia's Oopsies. I well, hope you see what all the fuss is about. Okay. Well, where's the next one? Rebellion. Over there? Something's ding-a-linging at me, though. Okay, hold on. We have to check. It's just a cool sphere. <laughs> Always look at your map after you're tracking something. Sometimes it's really far. Oh, wait. Wait! Ah. Hey. Ooh. We're snooping, snooping. Midnight debonair ensemble. Cute. Revenia. Pick up. Mudiwa Onai, under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress mis head to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft. Oh, this is uh, Natty's mom's area, I guess? That's cool. Right, so sometimes they're pretty far. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So, let's see. So that is telling me where the next one is. Should I go here? Wait, travel, okay. Oh, am I a pro wizard yet? Dude, basically, we figured out the I doors. Around high places around the school <laughs> for Zenobia's cobblestones. We figured out the freaking doors, dude. Oh. Okay. Revelia. I feel like one has to be around here somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's cobblestones. I hope it's all the Chat, possible. look what it is. We found another one. There it is. There, there, there is the thing. The the cheat sheet. We found the cheat sheet. <laughs> we found it. it. It's here. Here it is. <laughs> we did solve it prior! Okay? See, look, there's a zero. So... Zero... Four? Okay, so nine? I'm assuming it's still minus, right? Like, the t this total is that. So this should be three. 
and then this is nine seven wait so seven so two three four five so just two oops okay I'm, I'm really bad at math chat okay what's this nine minus two minus three equals oh it's four <laughs> oops that was it crap Okay, but what is this thing? This bird? Oh, for the love of God. Got it! We're Revelio. doing it. Revelio. Oh, hello. Can I go through here? Oh, goodness. Imagine if I found this before everything. Forest Ivy Scarf. Cute. Okay. We have more, chat! All right. Listen, I don't have time to not use a calculator. 17 minus 6 minus 5 equals 6. 6. 2, 4, 6, apparently. And then 8 minus... Seven, so it's just the one. God, we're so good at this now. We're so good at this now. They don't have iPhones in Hogwarts. Well, they do now. <laughs> Cause ain't no way I'm not freaking using a calculator. Rebellion. Ain't no freaking way. Yahoo! Arithman Arithmancy classroom? This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology. Yeah. Not good at that. Okay. Here we go. iPhones haven't been invented? Well, I invented them, so... You're welcome, world. Four... I'm just not good at math, okay? Four, and then 18 minus 13 minus zero equals five. Poggers. Dude, it's so nice now that we know how to use this. Oh, What a relief. Bushes? Ceramic mask, scary. Rebellion. All right, cool. Did we get everything from in here? It appears so. All right, sweet. So this next gobstone thing says it's like in this tower area, I guess. Grand staircase. Does that make sense? Uh, I guess the closest place we can go to would be here. Oops. Travel. If you were my student, I would pull your ears. <laughs> oh boy. I'd better keep an eye on high places around Quick the school maths. for Zenobia's cobblestones. Okay. So, I was here before, and I wasn't up this way, okay. Uh, oh, oh. Rebellion. How many pieces of gear have you found? You can only carry 20 to start. Oh, shoot. Uh, I am not 100% sure. Gonna have to find out though. I'm sure we'll find out real quick. Okay. Um, let's do another one. All right, 23 <laughs> minus 15 minus two, right? So six for this. 
two, four, six, and then nineteen minus nine, ten minus three, seven, which is the octopus thingy, squid, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you loot when full, you just lose the item. Oh, crap. Okay. Flamboyant cloak and three cedar sofa. Okay. Well, maybe we should look into that. Uh, I don't know what the best way to look into that would be. Gear? Is it best to look in inventory? It doesn't show gear here. Or collections. You, If you make space in inventory, you can loot again. Under gear is the best way. Uh, Because I don't know how to tell you the total amount. You don't lose the item, it remains in the chest. Okay. Gear 15 out of 20? Oh. 15 out of 20? Damn. We found a lot of stuff already. As long as it stays somewhere. You do lose the item in those golden chests if your inventory is full. Learned that the hard way like twice. <gasps> okay. So then... I guess I should probably continue the story before I do a lot of side stuff, or... Should go to the shopping place? Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's a, that's a good thing to note, actually. Thank you for telling me. Uh, okay, we can't go there first. We can go to, I guess, the central hall area? Sure. Oops. Okay. Yeah, let's go do the... Let's progress the game so that we can make sure we get everything without losing stuff, because that would really suck. And then... Uh, track this. All right. Where do we go? This way? Cool. Whoa, it's so bright in here. Okay. But but look at all the side stuff! Mavelio. I love all the side stuff. But I don't want to lose items. That, that would defeat the purpose. And that would super duper suck. Aha. Nice. Something else over here? Where is this other thing? Rebellion. Ah. There's so much stuff, chat! <laughs> With the wavy hair! I know. Hello. Looking for you? Yes, I am! Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff, girlfriend! Okay, hold up, hold. Get Not that. Nice. There's a thing over here. Something over there. Oh, chest? Uh-oh, rugged fedora. Pavelio. Okay. Alright. Uh, there's like a thing over there, which looks like a travel thing. Okay, first things first. Let's focus on this. Okay. Natty, lady. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. <laughs> She's like, I've been Professor waiting for five years, Louis. You need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been oh yeah, we need our own it. wand. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Ooh, I'm down for that. <laughs> My wizard. <laughs> I am down. Show me the goods. Whoa! 
looks nice. Let's go! Hogwarts grounds. I was glad Sweet. Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Yeah. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. She's so cute. Oh, I All cannot right. tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. <laughs> Grave mistake to take it as an elective class. Believe What's me. What's up, psychology? I believe you. It's been Though really I cool so you far. Not call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's been really cool. The character creation was awesome. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time And of year. like the different uh, tell you to visit at spells and stuff are pretty but cool. One of the, few times the interactions with everything I in the game are awesome doors. as well. Not much for the cold, are you? Heck no. Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it's half the cold never bother me to. anyway. I did not grow up around snow. <laughs> oh, the scenery. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Hmm. What about this stuff? Rebellion. They're just... Honking flowers. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah! I, for I, I forgot this game is coming out for the Switch. I hope that it runs okay on the Switch. I know the Switch struggles with some games sometimes, but hopefully it'll be a Look, good ex enough experience for you guys voice. that play it on the Switch anyway. I hippogriffs! I heard rumors that hippogriffs oh, had been spotted cool. nearby. Cool. So sick. Nice. Better be a Switch Pro, right? You guys think Nintendo will come out with one? I hope so. I feel like the Switch is like the perfect Nintendo kind of like console, like in terms of just. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? Forbidden forest. The professors claim it is. Just like it's uh like how it is, not like how it performs obviously, but like. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. It's nice. Pass that ruin. Yeah, the perfect console. I just like how it uh. It works. I don't know. It's just such a nice, like, perfect Nintendo type of console. I would just needs spend improvements. all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, Whoa. since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. Mm -hmm. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Mm. Don't mind me, just picking up some mushrooms. Just doing a little bit of foraging. Do do do. Wow. How Look at that. In. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and that is true, Sam. helped me to adjust quite a bit. It is. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Nice. Rebellion. I forgot I haven't been doing Rebellio stuff out out here. Oh oh, it just shows like the plants nearby? Okay. That's kinda helpful. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. What the heck is this? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Oh yes. my gosh. Um, you might want to turn back. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. Is that drunk? Oh, she'll be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Are you drunk, sir? Oh, Mr. Moon. A demigod. I 
think he had too much fun in the village. <laughs> I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Oh, really? Dark Souls 2 and 3 to the Switch? Oh, yeah. Dang. There is much to see outside of the castle I don't know if I have to loot this stuff. It seems it just does on its own. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Oh, Rumors thanks. being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. True, I'll true, keep that true. In mind, Thank you. True woo. Oh, wait. Revelio. Oh, 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 oh. Little something here. Nice. Yes. Hogsmeade, we're here. We made it. Oh. Uh. Yeah. yeah. I like that little stuff that they added in the game like that, you know? And Just little. Little it is hard things. to know where to start. The three broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I this could not sick. choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Nice. So cool. Professor oh. Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of mm -hmm. course. You a new will wand. Hi, incredible bad. And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. Yes. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Sweet. Um, Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Nice. Hogsmeade Village is brimmed with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. Okay. Whoa, this place is huge, dude. Under oath? Ollivanders. Poggers. Tomes and scrolls. Right. So we need potions, tomes, and scrolls and things, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Where to first? Let's see. Oh. Oof. What if I pick up too many things? Silver half rim spectacles. I have like four more slots of stuff I can pick up. Monka W. Visit tomes and scrolls. Uh... An inquiring mind. Hello. Do you Hi, offer Mr. bag space? I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. Mm. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. True Dally, right? You've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spell crafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. PS6. I that day. And Jeez. I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or mm. decoration. Imagine but you could just conjure your own house, you. like. For now, bruh. let's get the spellcrafts you need: a potting table and a potion station. Yes. I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. I'd be down let's for that too. Hell yeah. Oh. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh. Okay. Uh. Unlocks the ability to conjure. I guess we just purchase both of these, right? So they they cost nothing. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Inventory. Whoa. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, well, I'm a little overwhelmed because I don't know what any of this stuff means right now, so we're just gonna grab that stuff for now, right? Okay, so... Got that, check. Oh, um... 
Is it over here? Okay. Nice. Is that outside, I guess? Oh, but what's this? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> okay. Wasn't expecting that. Ah. Gotcha. Ravenia. Ah. Sneaky, sneaky. Blue nightcap. Cute. Okay. I feel like there could be some stuff that I'm gonna miss. Uh. Wait, what? She's at like 10 FPS, it's nuts. What is? What happened? My friend started streaming this game on PC tonight and is having tons of trouble. I think you made the right choice to go PS5. Oh, really? Oh, dang, that sucks though. She's at like 10 FPS, it's nuts. With a 3060 Ti. What on what earth? How's that happen? Wait. Did you guys see how there's stuff in here? Hold the phone. Oh. There's there's something. Oh jeez. There's a lot of stuff around here, guys. There's like too much stuff. I don't even know where to begin. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I can only get 50 to 55 FPS with the 3090. Jeez. Okay, I'm really glad I went with the PS5 now. I feel bad for everyone having issues though. Okay, so this lock. See some stuff around here. Hee hee hee. Give me that. Two coins! Rebellion. Wow! <laughs> that thing's a tank! Wait, what's this? Wait. I thought I was gonna take that axe and use it on the chicken. Why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, there's stuff behind here. <laughs> Are you sure you're not a Slytherin? <gasps> oh my god. Golden wooden spectacles. Let me answer. What about? Yeah. What about? Yeah. What about? Repair. Nothing. Okay. Rebellion. All right. He said not to all of that. A mimic, I know. Okay, so something's dinging. But I don't know what. And it sounds like it's coming from outside. Uh, okay. Maybe it's over oh, right here. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, something in here now? Maybe. Oh, have I been in here already though? I think I've been in here already. Yeah, 
that wee bit in here. All right, there's so many blue and yellow things. That's me digging. I know that chest was judging me, judging me. Like, sheesh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, level two lock. Ooh, there's some stuff over here, but I can't get to all of it quite yet. All right, we gotta go in here. Just kidding, it's locked, okay. What about over here? Oh, locked too. Okay, what about, okay. <laughs> Everything locked. We probably have to get the main stuff, I would imagine. All right, all right, all right. The main things, hey? Let's see. So we have to go to... I think this is one of them, right? J. Pippin's Potions. We'll do Ollivander's last, I guess. What's this? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what is this? This place looks crazy. Dude, they, they really made this game, like, feel magical, you know? Like, they really did. They accomplished... ...some magic, for sure. For sure. Okay, where is this thing dinging? Not too sure. Rebellion. Hmm. What room did I pick? Uh, we are placed in Ravenclaw. Whoa. Bewildering can of mystery. This feels like there's something. Aha, there we go. Oops, don't push! Rebellion. We had to do it. Okay. This place is like a cute little shoppity shop shop. Oh, right here. I was like, this is loud. It's gotta be in here. Yes, the candy shop. Oops. Oh, there's something else. Oh, God. Don't like that. That's terrifying. Where is the other thing that's dinging? Is it outside? It's like... Is it just outside? Oh, yeah. Nice. Zonko's Joke Shop. It's cute. <gasps> Butterbeer. Yes. Nice. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink, Butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. Uh, give me that. Rebellion. We're just exploring, chat. This game is nice for exploration. Hello? I'm stuck. Pretty freaking nice. Oh, something over here? Oh, I see it. Missed it. Yeah, it's not in uh, Universal either, hey? Howdy, howdy, burrito, how you doing? Rebellion. <laughs> exactly. There we go, and that's good. Okay, so we want to go in here. Right? Give me that. Alright. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. <gasps> Your gear slots are full. Sell or discard excess gear or earn new gear slots. Crap, what did it say? At where? Shoot. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. 
Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And It'll come later in the story. Pippin's <gasps> potions. Potions no. for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How mm -hmm. may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Yes, sir. Is it not the most fascinating art, potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions mm. really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. Nice. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's oh. get you those recipes, shall we? Yes, please. What can I do I know, right? Today? I want to be a wizard so I can learn to dress this well. <laughs> oh, for real. Okay, potion recipe and a durus potion recipe. Feel free to take recipe. a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. All right, so we should probably get rid of stuff that we don't need, right? Like, I know like this stuff is like upgrades, so we don't want to get rid of those. And if I get rid of items, I can still use them as like you know transmog or whatever, right? Hello, the homie, by the way, Enzo. Earn new gear slots from doing Merlin's quests, is what it said. Oh, okay, thank you so much. The shop you were in when you first got here? Was that the one I need to be in? Or need to get backspace from? Mm, I haven't heard one bad voice actor. Everyone's been great. I know, right? Just want to make sure that if I sell this, that we could still use its uh, aesthetics or whatever. Or, it, like, you know, just not... You can safely vendor all old gear. It auto saves mugs. Okay, cool. We'll get rid of the ones that are like gray. And then we definitely need to, I mean, I can see this one's the best one. So we'll make sure that we use that one or this one. A hat's cool. Okay. You don't lose the appearance. Fantastic. Um, oops. Okay. Face wear. Oh, face wear is different from hat wear. Although, this one's significantly better. Damn. Oh, wait, but we don't want it to look like that. We don't want to wear glasses, actually. Okay, and headwear, we have this, which is pretty dope. I kind of like like the look of her just being a student, you know, at Hogwarts. I, I like how that is what we're going for, you know? It's cute. Uh, this one is better stats. We want to keep it basic, I think. Mm-hmm. Why was what? Old lady class? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I don't know why that was auto-modded. auto -mod's just looking out for me, you know? He's like, are you trying to call her an old lady, huh? <laughs> uh, ooh, this looks kind of fancy. I'm kind of down. It's pretty fancy looking. Looks cute. I'm down for that look. <gasps> Ooh, but this one. The dapper. Oh, we look adorable, though. I can't be too mad about that. We look so cute. Cool. Um. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at this stuff that we got. This is letter... Da -da. Okay. Cool. Um. 
So if I wanted to sell anything, I'm assuming I can only do it at like these areas. I, I guess I might as today? well get rid of like, you know, we don't need to hang on to this, right? Let's get ourselves some money. Okay. Mm All right, we cleared our inventory because I guess there's no real reason for us to not. I'm not gonna buy anything else because I don't really understand. <laughs> She's sensitive about being 30, okay? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so we'll just kind of keep it simple for now. We'll learn more later. We can always buy whatever we need at a later date. Okay. We're at a later time. What am I saying date for? Okay. Mm hmm So, next, we... I kind of wish the quest showed up here. I feel like that'd be kind of nice. Um... Let's see. Tomes and scrolls we got, and we need... Oh, your outfits, wizard wear, brood and peck, beast supply shop, stock with the latest and greatest beast byproducts. Um, are these all like, um, places we can TP to? Pavelia. Mm. Vampires <laughs> exist. I love it. I love it. All right, is this back to where we were initially? Yes. I don't want to go to Ollivander's yet. What else do we need? Magic Neep. Okay, that was this way. Revenia. Let's go. Is it this? Oh, we literally are just circling around here. This way. I want to say. Yeah, we definitely need to keep the TPs unlocked. Just want to make sure I'm going the right way here. Wait, what? Oh, we need to go this way. Okay, maybe I should track it. Unlimited breadsticks! Revelia. Right. Ooh, some stuff over here though. Oops. <laughs> we still have hops, guys. Oh, I'm just in a graveyard. I'm looting people's graves. Oh, this is just behind. Oh, mimic chest. Got it. That's a no. That's a nope. Grave robbery. Sorry! Whoa! This looks crazy! Damn. Oh, we got more chickens! Look at all those chickens! Oh, shit, okay. Well, hello there! Hello! Aha! Nice. How's it going, Timothy Teasdale? Hi, I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. I don't oh, know. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Merlin's beard. This is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, <laughs> bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cards Cute. out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things. I really like a good chat now, too. You <laughs> nine and I was thinking the same so I have thing. Plenty of plants. Ashley Tisdale. Got myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Yes, please. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Yes, sir. Do have a look All around. Right. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Fertilizer? Man, there there's gonna be so much to this game. I know! 
<laughs> I'm kind of glad, dude. Like, I'm, I get to chill and just enjoy it. It's lovely. It's fantastic. Yeah. Too bad we can't get through all these pits. Revelio. Alright. That's a nope. Mimic chests all over the place. Alright, so we got the TP over there, which is great. I kind of want to get, like, other ones just in case, like, while we're out here. Yeah, this game is massive, dude. I wonder if there's one around here? that I'm seeing. Rebellion. Oh. Stealing somebody's stuff again. Sorry. 13 coins. Gosh. I'm the worst. I think I might have heard a ding. Very faintly. Is it like over here? Hmm? Oh, it's up on that mountain. I see. Okay, never mind. It's like up there. Up here. What is up here? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Aha. Field guide. Abandoned shop. Hmm. <gasps> it's abandoned, abandoned. 60 coins. Stuff on the floor. Mm hmm. Uh, right. Lumos. Oh, this is specific. The Teasdales. Uh. Oh, right here. Lumos. Come on back. I like these little like side things to do. This is what I love in games, you know, just extra stuff to do. It's so nice. The collectible stuff, it, it fills in the world a bit more. It's great. Rebellion. I like it. Yeah. Hit up the world map. World map? Oh, gosh. Oh, God! <gasps> Oh my god! I thought just Hogwarts alone was insane. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. This is crazy. Just a bit left to discover. Yeah, just a small minor amount. Holy. Um, I have a question. Oh, never mind. That answered it for me. Okay. I was just looking for where the other like TPs were and if I could like s notice them or see them, but I found it. Okay, well I figure while I'm Rebellion. here, I should probably explore a decent amount, right? <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Thinking of God of War. So yesterday when I didn't stream, I, you know, kind of just took the day easily because I was just cramping, not feeling too great. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play a little bit of God of War and do like the boring, like some some boring stuff. Cause I'm not sure if I'll return to do like the side content in God of War just cause it's so much and kind of a lot. So I'm, I was starting to get used to doing like circle to loot, <laughs> which is why I'm pressing circle so much. All right, hello. Hello. I know oh, United. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I still need to do that too. I was too. just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own There's fault more? for putting more than four to a tray. 
By the way, and even look at the entire the map. You may address me oh my as God. Madam Green. Hello, Madam Welcome Green. To Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you, don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> I mean, I Mind hope we haven't been petrified. Or if there's an uprooting, I, yeah, I know. To drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear up. May I see your... Are you saying someone died here? Someone died here? I. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. Did you come collect your or did you collect your appearance items for the completed quests? Ah. Uh, what do you have for sale? I might not have actually. Just one. Well, what <laughs> not bad at all. Available. Ooh, these are expensive, yo. She's got some pricey stuff. All right. Uh, oops. Lumos. Okay, it's gotta be just outside somewhere, I'm sure. Surely. Alright, where is this moth at? Hello? Where are you? Revelio. Show me the moth! It's gotta be close, right? Oh, there's a book. And... Oh. Is that the moth I see? I'm like surprised by how much I can interact with the environment. Like, it's crazy. Wait, oh. He's freaking out. I'm freaking out. Jump! Okay. Can't do that. Good to know. <laughs> All right, get in here. Do, 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 do. Show me the money. Gimme, gimme. Uh, but yeah, so yesterday when I was playing Ragnarok, um, I went to the area that kind of opens with when you, you have to save some guy, something to do with the, a guy and a dragon thingy. And there, there's like a whole area that we had never went to. So I'm like there right now. I'm just, I've just been chilling. That was my first time playing like a game off stream though, like in forever. Kind of felt weird. Yeah, burger, that, <laughs> yeah. That's the one. But I was like, I was up so late playing too. I, I couldn't stop, guys. I just wanted to keep going and trying to figure out puzzles that I couldn't figure out. <laughs> I'm like stuck on one area because I'm like, I don't know how to get to somewhere. And I'm just like, I don't know. What the hell? Okay, I'm not trying to go too crazy right now. Because right now we're going a little crazy, Looney. We're going a little crazy. Did you miss talking to us? Yeah, I miss being like, yo, chat, how the heck do I get over there? Because <laughs> I'm in a spot right now where I have to turn, like, the day and night on and all that. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a chat to be like, guys, I need a hint. <laughs> Locked. Revelia. Ooh. <laughs> what the heck was that? I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought. You could have got some. What? Only she said I might earn a reward. Oh, instead, I just wasted. Okay, let's go to Ollivander's now, maybe? Unless. <laughs> Unless... Oh... Nope, not yet. Ha ha. Hee hee hee. Joke's on me. 
Okay. Oh. Give me that. And give me that. And something else over here. Some tea? Don't mind if I do. Oh, you get XP for drinking tea? Really? Am I tripping over that? Is that actually a thing? Can you play with other people or is it just solo? I'm pretty sure it's just solo. If you can play with other people, I haven't, uh, haven't gotten to that, so. Good to see you, Ash. Uh, you got something cool for me? Oh. It's just solo? Oh, okay. Can I not talk to you? I'll steal your stuff back here. Plus 69 XP, let's go. Do I get more? Ah, oh, drats. How come I can't talk to you? He doesn't want to sell me anything. Rude. What about you? You want to sell me something? Wait, my controller's like freaking out. It's just like the vibration of that, though. Alright, we go to the next room, I guess. Or the next thingy over. Go, go, go. Um... Oh, was this all the same building? What the heck? Okay. What about this? Wait, where is this ding coming from? Aha! <laughs> There's another ding! Oh god! Never ends, chat. What the? What the? Oh. Did I miss anything big? No, we've just been exploring so far. Looking around. Enjoying just exploration. Finding things to collect. Rebellion. Drinking some tea. What is that? Wow. Oh. Big bag. Okay. <gasps> Cupcakes! Cute little bakery. Oh, I love it. Oh, another mimic? Or. Oh, this one's not. Quidditch goggles! Tactical goggles activated. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Nice. The usual RPG experience, you know. Revelio. Um, a book. Sweet. Revelio. Honey Dukes. Oops. And we have, we're so still like early into this game. It's kind of crazy. I feel like it's insane how early in this game we still are. There's just so much to do. this <gasps> do i get to have one? Oh my god yes give me 20 of those oh some of this too oh it looks so good chat damn oh i get another one yes dang look at this look at this cotton candy machine Whoa. Whoa. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> I'm still eating without pain. I'm just taking everything. Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Hello. Ooh, bonbons. Exploding bonbons? Is that what it said? Wait, what's over here? Oh, it's locked. Alright. Gosh, this is making me so hungry. I want some coffee cake, bro. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> More cake! Oh, God. I love that you can just interact with all this stuff. It's so cool. Alright. Oh, wait, what's this? Can't not eat everything in here. Wait, what? 
They'll make you float. Whoa. <laughs> Sick. Okay. Huh? Who said that? Oh. Opinions on carrot cake? Um, I know some people like really, really love and live by at four and with carrot cake or something. I think it's good. But like, I'm not, it's not, you know, I'm not like crazy about it. I think it's good though. Yes. There is, and it's freaking sick, dude. Alright, nice. Okay, so we got... Yeah, the Universal Studios, if you've never been, it's so cool. So, so cool. Um... So, we got two TP areas. Oh, there's a third over here. Okay, let's keep going that way. And then make our way towards the... other spot we're supposed to go to. Can we go into these? Yes. <gasps> Cupcakes! I'm still eating. Blue four eyes spectacles? <gasps> Tea? Oh, I didn't get any XP for drinking the tea this time. Oh, a piano? That's cool. Oh, she's just making musical instruments. Huh. Nice. That's cool. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Over this way. Ooh, this has a whole thing on it. Revenia. Oh, the repair. What? Rebellion. I could have sworn I could have repaired this. Repair. That's sussy. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Somewhere around here should be. Pavelio. Ah, oh, there you are. No, that's that's not you. You are something else. Where are you? Whoa. Rebellion. It's freaking Charizard. Where are you? I think the thing has to be around here somewhere. Dude, I'm so lost. It's 3 a.m.? Hell yeah. We'll still play for a little bit more. We've been definitely enjoying ourselves. I remember in, um, yeah, Chocolate Frogs, in one of the other games that I played, like, a, what's it called? Like, one of the first few Harry Potter games, uh, I remember some of the collectibles in those games were to collect, like, gosh, it was, like, stuff from the chocolates. Something to do with, um, I think professors or something? I don't know. Lumos. Revenia. Where is this thing? Oh, I think it's over there. Quidditch World Cup. I played like the first and the first game on PC, and I remember I was playing with uh, some other yes. friends at the time too. Like they just happened to have the game as well, and we would talk about it on the bus to school, and uh, 
There's one spot that I specifically got stuck on because I was like, it was like an ogre chasing me. And I was stuck on it because my computer, like it was on my computer. And it would bug out and get stuck. Like the ogre would get stuck walking in a beam and I couldn't progress because he wouldn't keep moving. <laughs> and I was like, guys, I can't even play the game. <laughs> and it would happen every single time. It sucked. Ugh. So unfortunate. But eventually it just like undid itself or like it stopped being weird and then I was able to play again. Super strange. I know. Good times. Good times. The simpler days. Okay, guess there's not much out of this spot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cards and the frogs. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, uh, I heard something over this way, I think. Something over here. I'm getting hungry. Revelio. Oh, something over this way. Over here? Oh. Akio. Aha. Revelio. Where is this thing? Oh, it might be- wait, what? How, why can I? I think it's in this building. In the building. Oh, is this the food place? Oh, never mind. But it does look like a- oh, the three, three broomsticks. Okay. Oh, some nuts. Cool. Avelio. Mm. <gasps> More food. Bunt cakes, if I am not mistaken. Okay, something upstairs. I know! I love that you can just go into someone's house, drink a cup of tea. <laughs> it's like, yes. Yes, I would like a cup of... Don't mind if I do. Okay. I'm just gonna open this bag and take whatever. 69 coins! Aw, yeah. Kraken cloak! Cool. Revenia. Where is this thing? It's gotta be close. I think it's above me, but what's over here? Oh god! Oh what? The heck? So bright! Can we get a casual 444 butterbeer for Looney and chat, please? Right! Oh what? Bruh. It's like on the other side of that door. That's just rude. Rebellion. Man. Okay. Well. How is it that when I went outside, I was on like another level of... Okay. Alright, I think it's time. Let's get in here. Ollivander, Scottish jumper attire. Excuse me. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding. Dude, we're five, almost six I'll hours right into the game and we don't even have uh, our wand yet. You. <laughs> um, just a moment, please. Hello, sir. 3 a.m. Perfect time for cupcakes want? and tea. Yes. Absolutely. It's about time. Yes, I. About time. Well, you're uh, our new fifth year student, are you not? Good night, uh, United. What am I saying, of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest of course. Finest makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Man. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, Ollivander's, uh, like, at Universal yes. is so, so yes. sick. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Ooh. Well, go ahead, swish. It's pretty cute. 
Uh, hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh! Oh, boy. That's that. That's a nope. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No, sorry. <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. I do you, I wonder if it's different for everybody cuz that would be kind of cool if that was the case. Oh, 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 my. oh goodness. Oh man, this one seemed like it'd be cool. Like I like the way the this one looked. Darn. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah. Oh. There you are. Meant to be. Oh, I thought it was the, uh, the purple box yes. that was sticking out. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Okay. Oh. Oh. So you get to... Oh. How intriguing. So you get to make your own? Okay, never mind. Chat, I'm gonna need your help. I don't, I don't know. Dusty pink? That is freaking cute. What do you guys think is the most me? Because I don't know. How intriguing. Like, which design do you guys feel like is my, like, says Looney? Curious indeed. Honey brown. Warm brown. My favorite color. How intriguing. I think this one's kind of cute. But what is this? Oh, this is like the finalized, okay. Wood type? Oh. Unicorn hair? Wow. The first or the last? Let's see. What is all this? Curious indeed. How interesting. Do does this actually change it? I don't know what this changes. The wood type of my wand? Does it mat? Like, does it change anything? How intriguing. Well, I guess let's try one and see what does Elder look like. It doesn't seem like it changes anything. So it's just like. Curious indeed. Which name we want it to be? How interesting. I don't know which one to pick though. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't know. Use my imagination. Um, let's see. Maple because can Canada. <laughs> How intriguing. I don't know about the length. I don't really care. Cherry because cherry blossoms. That is oh, also yes, a good indeed. idea. Chat, I really don't know about this. I really don't know. Uh, it does not physically change, it's just flavor text. I don't know, should we do a small? The smallest, How nine and a half thinking? inches, because we're small. Flexibility, swishy. S unbending, solid, hard, brittle, whippy, reasonably oh, yes, supple, <laughs> supple. Uh, I don't know. Unyielding. 
I don't know. How intriguing. Brittle? Jesus. I just went with what the website online gave me. Oh. It matters to spell casting. Apparently, I have no idea how it works. I look I took what I got from the quiz. I have 10 inch pair unicorn hair, reasonably supple. I think Pottermore had a quiz to give you your wand. Oh, should we do that? Also? Let's see. Let me check, let me check. Because we did our sorting hat just the other, earlier. Uh, wand. Okay. Let's find our wand. One moment. Hold on. I'm gonna change my my thing. It will auto-select though, so no way to change it. Um, what do you mean by that? Find your wand. You didn't listen to the house it gave you though? Well, that was, we, we did it afterwards and I liked the Ravenclaw one. This one is like fine. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, tall or short? Short. And your eyes, dark brown, black. Was the day on which you were born an even number, an odd number, an even number? Do you most pride yourself on your determination, originality, imagination, optimism, resilience, kindness, intelligence? My resilience? Because <laughs> I don't stop until it's done. <laughs> I guess we can do resilience. Oh god. Just like the stupid thing. She didn't link the account that she's doing this on. No, yeah. Would that be determination though? I don't know. Is resilience different? Can I go back? I can go back. You are really kind though? Oh crap. Can I not mess- <gasps> Can I not fix it? Uh oh. Okay. It's too late. It's over. Uh, maybe resilience was the wrong thing. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroad. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, ahead towards the forest? Right towards the castle. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, heights, small spaces? Mm, it's darkness or isolation for me. Hmm. Let's say darkness. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Silver dagger, golden key, ornate mirror, dusty bottle, glittering jewel, black glove, bound scroll. Silver dagger. I think. We were placed in Ravenclaw. Silver dagger. Let's see. I just want this to tell me the length and the pine and whatever. Okay, cool. So we got pine wood, dragon core, 12 and 3 quarters, rigid flexibility. What does it say? The straight grained pine wand always chooses an independent individual master who may be perceived as a loner, intriguing, and perhaps mysterious. Pine wands enjoy being used creatively, creatively and unlike some others, will adapt unprotestingly to new methods and spells. <laughs> Um, wait, really? Oh. Many wand makers insist that pine wands are able to detect and perform best for owners who are destined for long lives, and I can confirm this in as much as I have never personally known the master of a pine wand to, di to die young. The pine wand is one of those that is most sensitive to non-verbal magic. Interesting! Okay, ha, loner! rude okay i'm gonna use i'm just gonna use those well sort of i like the idea of maple because of the canadia sorry this will, this will fix itself in a second but like you know this stuff i i just didn't know what to How do so it said 12 and three crap crap 12 and three quarter inches 
And then this said rigid. Glorious indeed. Rid what? Rigid flexibility? Oh, rigid. What's How over intriguing. Here? Okay. Maple. The wand don't matter. Make what you want. Yeah. And then unicorn hair. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Hmm. Is this what I want? Or do I want this? Oh, yes, indeed. Because I feel like I usually like, like, white looking or light colored. This is a little too plain. How intriguing. Hmm. Chat, what do you think? This one or this one? Curious indeed. What do you guys think? This one or this? One? How intriguing. Last one is beautiful. This one? You do get a little customization later too. Oh, okay. White wand to go with the white cat. Matchy matchy. True. I like both. Okay, let's go with this one. All right, maple unicorn hair, rigid, 12 and three quarter inches. Perfect. What do you think? Yeah. Yes, sir. Extraordinary. Wow. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Yay. <laughs> Uh, maybe Jessica? I'm not sure yet, actually. Now, or I'm not, I don't remember. How did that feel? Good. Fantastic. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match? Your connection seemed particularly powerful. I still had my the right one will learn from you, just as you learn from it. <laughs> I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Fantastic. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Revelia. Can we go back here? No? Okay. That was cool. Pretty cool. Alright, gotta find Natty at the town circle. Okay. Over here. Aha, I see you. Oops. 15 out of 25. Revelio hearing something. Oh, right here. Water well. Huh. Nice. Oh, hello. There she is. Hello, Natty. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. <laughs> What the freak is that? Oh boy. Oh my god. Draw it away from the building. Away from the village. Oh my god. Not the nice town. How dare you! Oh shit, dodge, okay, check. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to shield it. <laughs> oh god, we're fighting him? Oh shit, I, I'm pressing freaking God of War controls. Are we weakening him at all? Keep acting, we have to wet him down. Oh my god, watch out girl, Jesus! 
Oh my god, she's gonna die. R1? What is R1? What oh, that? what the freak is- I was trying to beat him at his own game. I let him Oops. I... R1? I'm afraid. Oh, R1. He's buttering. Took him long enough. R1. Stupefy. 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 Kid, this. Oh, shit. Yeah, we can't do that. I know. Oh, Ethan, thank you so much. Invoke ancient magic? Troll with the punches. Let's freaking go. Goodness. Holy moly. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I you suppose might have. so, don't know. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. <laughs> Merlin's all right. beard. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, yes. officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Officer Singer. Okay. Oh god, we got a Reperiamus up in here. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Repero, whatever. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. Oh, gotta gotta trim this tree a little bit here. Put that back to normal. <laughs> Wait, where'd she go? Okay. Repero. Dang. Yeah, for reals. Good thing it's it's uh we just have magic to put stuff back to how it was. Easy peasy bobeasy lemony squeezy. So easy. What about this? Search? Oh. Repair. Oh, okay. I know, me too, right? It would make things so much easier. Huh. What about you? Oh. For Officer Singer to worry about. Whoa. Alright. Looks like the house is already totally fine. Oh. Repair it. Dang. Just like that. Okay. Dunzos. Oh, this is why this guy couldn't talk to us earlier. We, had to we do were some just stuff talking first. about you. <gasps> talking about me? Talk? Hello, sir. I Hello. don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinary. Ethan, by the way, thank you so much for the two months. I really appreciate it, dude. Bravery in fighting those trolls. And not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. This hair is balling. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. Oh. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. No, sir, that's far too generous of Thank you, you, really. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Uh, now, now, let's try hey, this on <laughs> Yeah, the forehead stash! <laughs> I was Did literally thinking of how Take he has time. to have his hair cut in order for it to be like that, dude. Dead. Uh, alright. I mean... Should I purchase this? It seems like that's what I have to do, because I can't buy this stuff. Oh, yeah, okay, well, never mind. 
You've received a new piece of gear? Time to equip it? I mean... But mine's already so good. Your current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. Select the cloaks and robes gear slot and press X. Man, we are... We are long... Past this stuff. I guess we could upgrade to this. Kraken cloak. Yeah. Double mustache. <laughs> Forehead mustache. Oh, we can afford this. Compare. Whimsical nightcap, really? Royal maroon coat. Is it worth buying this stuff, chat? I don't know. I don't know what I want to spend my money on yet, so maybe we don't? Alright, that's okay. You have a legendary chest I saw? Okay, we'll have to... What's an Wait, extraordinary really? introduction to Hogsmeade? I thought it was just a... Uh... I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one For the drip? Beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. Okay. Is it ever worth buying equipment from shops? The items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Thanks for the tea. Uh, I was gonna check gear. Did you say I had a legendary? No. This one, legendary of this. Emerald high attire. What the heck? Okay. But I like the way... We might have an upgrade of this too, yes. Okay. I'm starting to look a little... Not how I feel like I want our, us to look right now. I'm starting to look a little less cute! What about hands? Uh, we got some OP ones right here. Wait, but these are better. What?! I guess. Ew. Don't like the look of that. Um. Do we want gloves? I kind of liked. Uh, no gloves. Um. This not my favorite. I like this. This is cute. Or. What's our Ravenclaw uniform? Let's do this. This is cute. Actually... <laughs> this one. I like the... whatever. This uh, cloak thing is pretty cool, though. Feels kind of Ravenclaw-like. Oops. And scarf. We could do no scarf. Yeah. Looking good. Oh, you can get stuff from collections? Is oh 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 <laughs> wait this is just stuff I've collected so I'm looking I'm thinking of looking at challenges is it quests this stuff claim reward whoa okay it's pretty big. That, that was a legendary glove right there. That's pretty good. Okay. Is that it for now, I guess? What about this? Maybe this, too? <gasps> oh, my. Wait. Are these all legendary quality? Am I understanding that correctly? We might have to look at our stuff real quick. Dang. Okay, that's pretty good. Hold on. Or is it not what I think it is? No, it's not. Why is it orange? <laughs> oh, they're cosmetic only. Oh, okay. That's okay. So if I do this... Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Oops. Oh, that's kind of cute, though. <laughs> uh, shoot, I don't know what to go for. Let's go for this for now. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess they're just cosmetic. But I'm kind of curious. So this is just... Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright. Cool. Yeah. Pretty sick. Uh, so now we have to go to the three broomsticks. Yes? Yes. Assuming it is not too busy, you We're might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Okay, let's go. Hogwarts drip. <gasps> Yo, JC, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the stream. Wait, what's happening here? Uh oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Oh boy. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Gosh. How did they not see them right there? <laughs> did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Whoa. 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 Let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's trouble. Thank you so much, JC. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Hello. What are we gonna do? Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Hell yeah. Thank you for this. That's My us. Pleasure. I will say, <laughs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Are, uh, oh no. What time, man? Oh no. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. This guy scares I'm me. I'm here for this one anyway. Oh My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Ooh. I said, my friend is busy. Mm -hmm. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Can't drink butterbeer forever. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, huh? Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Really, though? Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. It is perhaps best I do that later. Oh boy. We are in some trouble. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Uh, some quests have open objectives with no compass path. I didn't get a chance to read that whole thing. Dang it. Thank you, Serona. I appreciate you protecting us. Man, it's so dark now, bro. I am certainly glad Serona was there. 
Me too. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Right, right. Uh, you must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. For sure. Select the Hogwarts map button to switch. Da -da -da. Okay. And my Ravenclaw common room. Safe and sound. That was a close call, though. Not only is that big troll almost got us, but the freaking dude with the top hat? Like, jeez. Hey, Nice. We did it. So is this our- oh, my level is like right here, like level 11, I think, we got to? Nice. Whew, we did a lot. We just did the most. Rebellion. Oh, read mail. I have oh, I have received an owl post. Oh, hi. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Ooh. Okay. Mysterious. What wand did we choose? We chose. Uh, one second. Oh, okay. We chose. How do I? show you <laughs> here wand handles we chose like a white it's a pine or no i went with maple i don't know if i can show you oh look at that eagle just remembered maple 12 and three quarters rigid unicorn hair and it's just it's got like a white look to it it's really cute okay chat I think this might be a good spot for us to stop for today. How are we feeling about it? I, personal thoughts, I think that this has been really, really cool. I think the story so far, it's very story rich, like very, which, you know, has a lot of dialogue and stuff, which it's fine to me. Like I'm cool with like stories and stuff. Sometimes I just want to be able to maybe do a bit more combat and all that kind of stuff but at the same time i really enjoy like looking around like look at this we got 43 out of 150 random revelio pages i don't know <laughs> we've already done a lot of exploring which is fantastic like I, I really like that kind of stuff in games so um like the collector's part of me definitely enjoys this but um yeah i'm excited to continue it and We'll get back to it again tomorrow, later today, tomorrow, whatever. Um, yeah, new doors will open, I'm sure. So I'm excited to see how things progress. I had no idea that this game was as huge as it is, like especially like that map. We're at 9% overall progress. It says right here, 9% after six hours. <laughs> like that's so crazy. There's so much content to be had here i'm sure so uh where my fellow gryffindors at my where my fellow raven claws <laughs> okay to be fair though like two hours were spent trying to figure out a stupid door puzzle okay which we accomplished which is fine but whatever <laughs> I feel like this is a great game to kind of kick back and enjoy the story and all. Yes, for sure. I agree. So, love is an open door. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the playthrough, would love to have you here for our continuation of it. Feel free to follow the stream. Like I said, I'll be back later today. Hopefully, maybe around like 8-ish so that we can do a decently long stream again. Um, but yeah. So, and also the socials here, if you guys are curious to follow those. Um, and also make sure you guys pre-save the next song that's coming out and stuff. I would love it if you guys did because it helps to support the song a lot. Um, it's a cover of Kill Bill by SZA. And yeah, music's there. Uh, it's already available for early access on Patreon to my early access folks. So if you haven't listened to it already, you guys should check it out. Thank you so much. Um, if you want a teaser, if you click on the pre-save link, it should be there. I'm just so hungry. I gotta get going. My stomach is growling at me. 
But thank you all so much for being here and watching and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Um, with the YouTube intros and stuff, we'll, we'll see how we're, we'll kind of just take it, um, at, like, by ear or whatever. We'll kind of play it by ear. We'll see. But yes, I am so hungry. It's also late, so I'm like, man, am I just gonna be eating some cereal again? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I had for food. Um, let's see here. Should I? I don't know if I should host... Mary, because she's like much further into the game than we are. Yo, Jess, thank you for the gifted sub to my mom. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, dude. Um, this dream was off the wall. Dude, it was a lot of fun. Had a really good time. Uh, so yeah, just maybe a, like a, a warning or a PSA. But uh, Mary's like much further in the game. So I will give her a raid. But I probably won't stick around for very long because, you know, just in case uh, I, we get spoiled or whatever. So I'm not going to look too hard, but I will be able to hear her. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. You know, it's been a good time. So we will be back. I'll see you all later today for some more good wizardy fun. Take care, everyone. Stay safe out there. Appreciate you all very much. And yeah. Bye. Stay hydrated. Toodles. Adios. Good night. Good morning. Bye bye. See ya. <laughs>